All right, we're live again, guys. Here we are. You're only allowed in here if you're a NATO tater. <laughs> only things that are allowed. Probably going to be quite a few of those. Good. Pop it in here. Oh, Arkansas makes every terrible contested shot today. Yes, every time Tremont Marks hit, hits a contested mid range, tweet at NATO's. TB going to guard Grant Nelson today? He's going to guard him and he's going to own him. Okay. Look at his hair. He ain't ready. Oh, so like this is going to throw me off seeing Arts on the uh, home whites. Yeah, I don't like it, man. I don't either. It's, uh, I wonder why they're doing that. Yeah. KB looks like he's about to get some buckets. Does he look like a guy who's coming back next year? Yep, he said so, dude. <laughs> look at that, man. Four teams at 12 and 5 on the last day of the regular season. And Florida at 11 and 6. Like, they, they, there could be a hell of a lot of shakeup mm -hmm. today. I mean, it could be the two seed today and it'll be the six seed tomorrow. Dude, Battle almost got a foul on the jump ball. Oh, that would have been tough. Really tough. Top of the morning to you, Kingsley, that Leslie, been, everyone. That would have been par for the Go Hawks dogs. Tuscaloosa. <laughs> I think that's one thing we got to watch for today. It's just what kind of a whistle KB gets today. Yeah, true. He's been getting a great whistle lately. Don't foul on TV. So, but not yeah, guarding for Pringle. Sure. Contested that's three good. from Nelson. Airballed. He might have blocked that, huh? I think he did. Good job, TB. That's all day, man. And also, Scotty, you know, we were talking about, um, like, Aaron Estrada playing against Arkansas at Hofstra and then obviously mm -hmm. Grant Nelson. The dude starting at the off guard for him, Latrell Wrightsell, uh, he was coached by Gus Arginal at Fullerton. Really? Yep. All right. Let's Work, see. KB. Oh, oh yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> I, like, I like the deep three from Caleb Battle there. This needs to be a game where it's just like, screw it. What do you got to lose? Just I think he sees stuff. Mark Sears in front of him. He's okay, got to travel. He's got to walk. Another Caleb battle rim. block, fellas. Wow. Rim protector. KB. I mean, Arkansas should work the ball around until they get KB on Mark Sears. Yep. Or T Mark on Mark Sears. Yeah, they're hiding him on L right now. Yeah, go hog dog. I think winning the SEC tournament's the only shot for the hogs to get to NCAAs. Unfortunate. That hasn't been talked about enough, Curtis. Look at that. Okay, Claw. Oh, look at all those empty seats. Hey, it's the, it's the first day that I went with something other than a uh, free throw for the first point. I'm, I'm glad that happened. Oh, Grant Nelson, 0 of 2 from 3. Imagine that. Yeah, you see, those, look at guys, those empty seats. How are there empty seats at Alabama? I thought they were a legit program. Look, yeah. look at those empty seats. Well, it's an 11 o'clock tip off. A what? Spring break. Break. Oh, are we going to get a contested pull up? No? Okay, all right. <laughs> In due time. Oh, work out on him. Picked it up. Oh, boy. Yikes. Hey, get it back. Look at L. Good L. There you go. You got some to numbers. the rim. Yep. Thanks and one. Oh. It's one on Nelson already. Good. Good start. Man. Yeah, Mark. Leslie, we were talking about this the other day um, on Arkansas getting into the NIT. It is. It's a little bit different now the way they do it. Like it's it's way more slanted towards the power conference programs than it is some of those really good mid majors because they they want to sell tickets and. Um, I would say. Arkansas needs to make it to at least Saturday of the SEC tournament to have a case yeah. for that. Yeah. And I still don't know if it would happen. They probably wouldn't host, but I don't I don't know. I don't even know if they would go if they got a bid though, honestly. Four nothing start for Hogs. Love it. I wouldn't go. I don't think I would either. <laughs> I went to one NIT game that Arkansas was in. That was when they played uh, Indiana State. Yep. Yeah. And there's like 8,000 people there in the stands, but they all were like. Right that could be a thing other. again. Indiana State and the NIT. Mm. Oh, that's that freshman 
Stevenson. It's a tough move. He's long, man. <laughs> Kingsley said, why not? I think he's talking about the NIT. Uh, why? Like, people talk about building for the, the future or whatever, giving guys there you like go. Donk TV. That's a very, that's a very yeah. good shot selection, I think. Yeah, I, I'll take yeah, that. Yeah, and the rim is good. Yep. Grant Nelson, not off to the greatest start, boys. Hate to see it. There you go. Little pick. Oh, no. Okay. It just to the rack. It's all right. Good start for Arkansas. Who are the three returning players? Black neighbors. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> That's what's weird, different now about the NIT, man. Like, you don't know who's coming back and who's not. It it might be more beneficial for him to just go all in on portal season and messing around prepping for the NIT. Here's Estrada. Y'all remember him? Yeah, why should I remember him? He almost had a triple double on Arkansas when uh, Oster beat him. Sure. Yeah, I said we said on the. Uh... At the Palace, he was the second best player on the court that night to Bebe. Bebe had that. like 18 and 14 in that game, didn't he? Something like that. Yeah, he did. See, that jacket, I like it. It's not a bad jacket. Yeah. It's not yellow. Oh, yeah. oh, please put him in the rim. It's all right. I'll take, I'll take the transition <laughs> layup. It's fine. Eight as long as it goes in. Hmm. Looks like Alabama's still asleep at this early start. Kingsley, ain't nobody watching NIT tape. Come on, man. <laughs> Not a blog. Look at this. And one ref. There's a whistle. There you go. That's boys, two on Nelson. Boys, we're heading to the under 16 timeout, and Arkansas's got an 8 2 lead with two more coming up. Oh, they gave that fellow a uh, right sell and not Grant mm -hmm. Nelson. But that was sucks. He's into Jay Harris. Getting everybody pumped. Mm hmm. Well, I like it. Yeah. yeah. In Brazil, good start. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good start. You think he's taking it a little personal with the Grant Nelson assignment? Probably so. I think so. I remember when uh, when Nelson was on his visit and, uh, and TV was still limited. You know, he's working his way back and stuff. And I know there was a, a picture that was floating out there where Grant Nelson – was sitting there watching practice, and he was with TB, sitting there with TB, who wasn't practicing. So, yeah, four points aboard a block and a steal. That'll play Six, in four minutes. P. Rogers or Trodgers? I don't know what he's wanting to go by, but it says to me this team has found its groove a little too late. Thoughts? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I mean, we talked about it on the, yeah on the pot at the palace again the other day. Like the last six games, offensive rating is one nineteen. It's close to it's like ninety eighth or something percentile like offensively they're playing great mm -hmm. and we said this game could come down to which team whichever team misses last not gets yep. a defensive stop because these are two bad defensive teams mm. yeah it could come down to just a last miss shot i don't know if anybody's going to force a miss but well we got boots on the ground with forrest because he's there at the arena and he says i've seen funerals with more energy than there i like that i like that a lot um wow well, man mm. That's because again, I'm of course liking to make fun of Alabama basketball, but it's like I don't know. This seems like a game. You're seeing your your final game in your arena. Your top twenty, what are they sixteen, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Arkansas team you hate, and you got empty seats. Man, they're still bummed about Saban leaving. I guess. Yeah, I guess so. But I mean, realistically, like you look at Bama's, you know, recent. Recent games, they've lost three out of four. True. Yeah, they have. They man. started eleven and two, and just keep giving up a hundred to everybody. For the record, I don't think Alabama's as good as Kentucky either. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't, for sure. I don't think so at all. They they play like Kentucky. They score like them. But... Yeah, they don't have near the dudes that Kentucky does. Yeah, Kentucky's got some. Like they got some guys, but dudes are different. Yeah, they yeah, got exactly. More. <laughs> Bama's starting five seniors. In this game, I noticed. I don't like that, dude. That's dumb. 
Like, who cares if it's senior night? You're trying to win a game. <laughs> That's real high school math teacher stuff right there. Yeah, you just, come on. You start all your seniors <laughs> just because it's senior day. I think I remember, uh, I think Mike Anderson did it that year that uh, they played Ole Miss and beat, oh, Jimmy Dykes. Okay, if you guys are watching the game instead of watching us, you guys are yeah. idiots. Um, I think it was like he started Fred Gully, Kiko Adar, Mark Drakus Wade, uh, Ricky Scott, and then Cody Clark. Like all five of them were starters. Yeah, that's a group right there. <laughs> that was uh, not a lot of scoring in that, in that in that group. How about that? They subbed six ten Grant Nelson out and put in another six ten, another six ten guy that wants to hang around the perimeter. Yep. Before they get started again, I'm going to address this. Nathan Bircher said, "Did y'all see the Pepperdine guy who hopped in the portal?" Yes. We did. He will be added to the board on the next update. Javon Porter, I know him personally, and I've written many, many a story about him when I was working as a scout. Uh, he's a Columbia, Missouri kid, and obviously related to Michael Porter, uh, Jonte Porter, who are both Missouri guys. But I I would say it's far from a given that he goes to Missouri, and uh, he'd be a really good fit for Arkansas. He's a player, man. Curtis tweet, or he texted me a tweet last night. I guess I'd fallen asleep by that point. But it was the first thing I saw when I woke up. Love that. Was, yeah, yeah. It was a good thing to wake He's up. Six ten, two twenty. I was really surprised he went to Pepperdine. I know there were some relationships there, like family connections. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a better player than that. He'd be he'd be a nice kid for anybody. A Velo or bust? Is that the kid from Indiana State? Yeah. <laughs> Love yeah, that. He's fun. <laughs> Also, Charlie, yeah, Arkansas cannot play Thursday. They are 100% playing on Wednesday no matter what. Yeah, man, five for five. Um, chance to play up to the 11 seed. But, yeah, they'll get either either Missouri or Vandy for the first game. I would do want to see him play Vandy just to hopefully have some sort of revenge in that. But Yeah, yeah, I need to write that shit, man. Mm -hmm. How do you think – how, how do you guys think we do in the SEC tournament? I just need to see the bracket at yeah, the end of the day. The like, matchups. I, I could see them going and winning a few games there, but. I think they could. I think, just to be honest, like two wins would be about what I, what I would like be like, okay, that makes sense. Anything above that would be incredible. Mm -hmm. Anything below that would be yeah. on par. I mean, there's like, there's scenarios where they could play. Vanderbilt and then Florida and then South Carolina. And you give them that, and I'm, I'm thinking, well, yeah, maybe they could make a nice run there. But there's others where they could play, you know, Vanderbilt and then Kentucky the next day. Yeah. So it's yeah, it all depends to, uh, on how things shake out ahead. Go to my, if you want, Twitter my Twitter account. I clipped the scenarios we talked about Ooh, yeah. on the pot at the Palace so you know what to pull for today. And you know what to pull for if Arkansas wins or oh. if Arkansas loses. That was a really horrible turnover. That just made me mad by TV. <laughs> How did that ball go that direction when he's dribbling? I'm not. Did he just dribble it off his knee? I guess because it didn't go off his foot. What are they doing? I have no idea. Basically, they're just picking up and denying full court. It's, uh... they're, they're playing this year Arkansas basketball. That's yeah, going up. Boarded. There we go. Oh, Ellis. The rack. Nope. Ooh, claw. That's gold. Uh, ah. Kind of funny that that went in, though. Because I think he was trying to dunk it in, but it just float, like, floated back. I mean, Sears basically like, pushed L. Like, L was running down the right lane line, and Sears just pushed him off toward the short corner and just, like, right. Brazil's going to the locker room. Right. Oh boy. Damn it. Yeah, David. What happened? There now? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Because I did see him do something like this after that turnover. I thought that was just him saying my bad, but maybe he was like, "Damn, was sloppy." Dude. Who? Uh, whoever's there? Whoever was in the chat and said Forrest, he was there? Give us an update. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> was he limping? Was he holding his? Like, what happened? There? Br uh, Craig Sager, isn't that his name? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, oh, got hit in the nose. Hit in the nose. Okay. Well, that's fine. Okay. Hey, we might get what do we get masked TB at the uh, at the term? <laughs> that might be a winning formula. I'm telling you right now, I'd be for it. Because <laughs> then all they're going to do is you're just going to see a bunch of the Dark Knight Rises Bane references. Is no one care who I was? Can I put on the mask? <laughs> Dude, was the over under in this like one seventy two and a half? Yeah, uh, Oakland, I saw it one seventy five. 
Hey. A little Makai Mitchell. Let's go. I can't do it as good as Andrew, but. You know. 12 to 4. Good start by Arkansas. And like clockwork. Mm -hmm. right, Nelson with a put back dunk because Kai just decided not to put a body on him. Yeah, you don't need to do that. By the way, folks, Ellis is not here because he's going to be doing double duty with the baseball game today. Yeah, here, baseball. Double header. Double header, boy. Starting up in 45 uh -oh. minutes. That was terrible. I mean, I know that's a turnover <laughs> for L, but Kai's got to keep why going. Did you, why did you stop running toward the rim? Yeah, why? I know he's good at short rolling, but you had a lane, brother. You literally yeah. got a layup because you kept <laughs> rolling to the rim on the last possession. Like that possession. is what he should have done. Although, wow. nice uh, smoke dunk by Grant Nelson. KB's did you not, see uh KB's going to have to fight for this whistle today. Bang. Ooh, KB. Talk and, oh, him. easy there, buddy. Talking to him. Yeah, he's lucky he didn't get a T yeah, for that. Yeah, he, he is. I like it, though. That's damn, offensive. yeah. They're sloppy, dude. He just took an L on that screen, though. He did. Look at him. <laughs> what a great job! Yeah, Turn it over, play. get the steal, three it's ball, and, assist by and then let him know. See that old man in the background? He had his head on his hat, and he sits at three, and he just he did not approve. Oh, that guy for Alabama's Sears bleeding gonna in the lip. lip. Yeah. KB's jaw's broken. TB's nose might be busted up. Dude, this is this is a war. Bad blood, you could say. <laughs> All kinds of blood. No, we got bad blood. We get it back in blood. Take him, Makai. Oh, good. There you go. That's nice. Really nice play. play. Yeah, nice play. Arkansas is kicking their ass right now. Like that. Oh. Davenport celebrates his assists like he dunked on somebody. <laughs> that's that's why, why I love him. Love it. So <laughs> yeah, that's, like, that's why we love him. Decent contest, JD. Yeah, nice. Oh. Finally, they hit a three. What do you guys think of the uh, press area of like the location? Look at that L. There you go. It's like uh... Missouri-ish. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's how it's just a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. I wish our uh, it was like that at Bud Walton. I don't really mind the. Steve's there, but it'd be nice if they were a little closer. All right. Oh, so. KB got a foul. Just on that? Then? No. Yeah, on that what, play. Was it? Yeah. I didn't think he was there. I thought that was on Makai. I mean, is he only have two, or does he have two? He just got one. Okay. That's, I, don't know. I like we played eight minutes, and there's eight total, or five total fouls called. But yeah, jinx it. physical, but uh, not whistle-worthy, apparently. What do we think about Arkansas shot selection so far? A lot of layups. Pretty good. NATO, it's approved. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. sure. And folks, uh, the pizza that I have on delivery has been confirmed. Excellent. And our driver is on the way there to get it let's go <laughs> yeah alabama's sticking to the script they're two for six on layups and dunks and one for six on threes and that's all of their shots uh, arkansas six of seven at the at the rim on layups t-mark's got to get going he's over four yeah um uh, this corner matt on twitter he says tom hart already on air saying the atmosphere is low in Tuscaloosa because it's spring break for Alabama students and local schools in the area are also on spring break and that's why Alabama's come out sleepy. Oh. That's the stupidest thing ever. Yeah, okay. Because it's not the student section that's empty. <laughs> like, right. That's how, in fact, the student section actually looks full. It's the other seat. Yeah. 
I'm taking another look at this uh, KB foul. You watch him right there. What does he do? Maybe we'll push. I, yeah, I, didn't, I don't know about that, but. Yeah, I didn't see a whole lot. And again, y'all know ball more than me. Pretty good start. Bama's going to get hot. They'll yeah, string together some threes, but. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. Like, this does not do anything for me. Being up 10. I mean, it's nice. Don't get me wrong, but. It's way, way too much going on. Yeah. I guess once the once the kids realize that spring break is, you know, then they'll get the energy. We'll get back. <laughs> I was listening to Nate Oates yesterday, and he was like making a plea that, like, come come watch us, come support us, especially the students. The beach will still be there after the game is over. That's pathetic. <laughs> come on, man. That's pathetic. Uh, college kids are going to be college kids. Yeah. Like, I, cause here's the thing, and I'm, yeah, okay, I'm gonna talk trash. Who cares? It's the last game. Um, I think if the rules were reversed and it was Arkansas playing this game at home, and they were the 16th team in the country, and all this, Bud Walton would have 19,000. It'd be rocking. Yeah, yep. like I mean, it wouldn't even be close. Arkansas spring break's not for like you got to go. We got one more week and then spring break in Arkansas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, I did put money on Arkansas today at the plus 15 and a half. Good call. That bracket is not terrible mm -mm. if it worked out that way. Yeah, not at all. But if Arkansas wins its game, they're they're automatically up to 11, right? Because they're tied. Are they tied with Georgia or are they a game behind them right now? I think the game behind because Georgia got the better win, right? Oh, you're talking about no, the record wise. I'm assuming that Georgia will lose to Auburn oh, yeah. today. So in that case, then, well, if Arkansas won, yes, they would be ahead to Georgia. Yeah, they'd okay. be Look at Ruta. He's, he's locked in, man. He's got, dude, he's he's got all he's, kinds dude, of stuff. I'm man. telling you, he's snapping that gum. <laughs> oh, he's, he's, he's getting after it. He's got a color-coded sheet, an uh, entire dry erase board. Yeah, we <laughs> can run. Anytime you want to run through scenarios, we can put this. We can Perfect. run it through here. Devo he gives up a three. Welcome, welcome to the game. Yeah, here comes the drop off. <laughs> so long sleeve Devo with the headband Devo. Sleevo. <laughs> Demar can't let Mark. That just, that's the kind of thing that just makes me want to throw my phone across the. Oh, hey. Davenport. Look at the gap. The, the guy. Yeah. So Devo comes in, gives up a three, and then fouls on the next possession. So far, so good. Oh, my goodness, dude. Blocker could do that. Mm -hmm. I could do that. Yeah. I am. We put the rule and get technical. I would have given up a more wide open corner three. That was a oh, really boy. stupid uh, decision by Kai there. It's great contest there by um yeah Davenport's had a couple of really good rim contests today. I see you, David, taking a risk with the uh with the Arkansas money line there. Ooh. See you. I respect that. I went over watching basketball, but just I'm excited that Peyton Stovall's back. He was officially yeah. announced, so that's good. DH in a day, right? Yep. First game. And so good to have good to have Stovey. I'm sure if he like goes like, you know, zero for two today, people are gonna not not be freaking out at all. And can Grant Nelson play? Like, is he good? I don't know. I mean, we we talked about it. He's incredibly frustrating. Yeah. But then again, at his moments where he's, God, he looks really good. Man, he would really would have fit in on this year's Arkansas team. Yeah, exactly. Because I feel like he just described every player on this Razorback <laughs> <pretty dramatic. laughs> team. Tough KB. Look Ooh, at that. man, he is feeling himself, man. Dude, just just let that he just got, do it. Looked like he got popped in the face again. Good, that's better. Vote. Down the balance, yeah. It's all hooping, man. They are. They're giving it to him. 
battled and got poked in the eye. Well, hopefully, Alabama, Alabama, those Alabama fans don't realize it's spring break and then they start getting the energy back. Yeah. Alabama's got six turnovers already. Estrada's got three of them. Really? Arsenal's made Must have probably been game games. planning for him for two years, years. now. Kai, what are you doing? He stumbling. Yeah, Mark Sears' thigh made him fall down. Oh, swing and then. Oh, oh come Careful. on. Easy, Makai. Yeah. Dude, you're. I got him. Yes. Yeah. What do you do? Like, wow. It's like he gets mad and then boom. He is like, I'm just going to start throwing Mitchell bows. blow up. Just use your ass. I mean, you got nine your ass is where his face is. Just you use got it. nine inches on a dude. Yeah, come on, bro. Yeah, there's no reason for that. Like, that's the stupid stuff, man. That just drives me. It's up like the ball. mismatch you want, and they're getting ready mm -hmm. to work the ball to you, and and you're throwing bows. Yeah, that's good, Bo. Him and up. elbow slips Sid. around the screens pretty well. Good, yeah, exactly. There you Make go. him good take D. it into the, the into the trees. Good rim run. Oh, ah, I got finished though. He got, ooh, he got he the call. It's a late whistle. Yeah, I like that. Was <laughs> he, he, what you do? As soon as he they, he came down, he stared at the official. He's just like, "You better give me that call." <laughs> yeah, not fine. exactly great verticality. But, you know, whatever <laughs> works. <laughs> Sears is crafty though, dude. They're gonna have to they're gonna have to go vertical all day long with him. Yeah, he's he's really good. He's a free throw merchant. Ah, come on, Kai. We've talked you up I know. for free throw shooting. Estrada looks mean. And leaking confidence with all them turnovers. <laughs> oh. Ah. And then a foul then on the foul. other end by Devo. Yeah, Bama's uh, and in, in the bonus. In the bonus. Oh. Halfway through the first half. How about that? Well, we know what's going to be on Eric's mind. <laughs> Nick. Thank and what's you. the worst about it is I'd say probably three. Like, because that foul was dumb. Mm -hmm. And the Makai Mitchell foul was dumb. Yep. And I think there was another one. The anyway, foul was non existent. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's like three of those fouls are. Garbage. Two guys got two. They can't figure out who's shooting the free throws. Nick Pringle, y'all, y'all need to go check out his Twitter sometime. I don't know if he still does it, but he's had some electric uh, trolling videos. Pringle looks like he doesn't Lost want to page. shoot these free throws. I want my guy to shoot the free throws. Yeah, you mentioned Pringle's Twitter the other day. I didn't go look, but maybe I need to while we've got some time. Yeah. Is he related to the guy that made the chips? He might be. <laughs> he had a really good one, I think, um, on Muss. It, it, I think it was last year's game, or it might have been the year before. It was definitely when he wasn't playing, which is any time in his career up until this year. But uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good troll. Where's the okay? So who they so where's the foul at? I guess it's on JD Davenport, and they said they fouled twenty three. Oh, it's either twenty three or four. I put that twenty three, so I don't know why this is a stoppage in play in the review. Golly, one and one. Okay, I think they were looking for a. Yeah, I don't know. Hugging is illegal. <laughs> Oh, dude, I'm in Nick Pringle's uh, his tweets and stuff. I see something about Todd Golden. Oh, yeah. We got Will Wade's face. <laughs> Making fun of Missouri's music Missouri's video. Missouri's guys, yeah. And then uh, what's his name? Stingray. Stingray. Yeah. Dude, he's he's the man. <laughs> we got the mashed potatoes Hope guy. he misses these free throws, but he's, he's good on Twitter. That was a one-handed... Nelson, just, yeah, I've seen that before. It's uh, Devo just bodied Nelson. And good. Nelson fell on the ground. Good. Devo Davis did that. Love it. <laughs> Against six eleven, Grant Nelson. Hey, watch this dude shoot free throws here. He's gonna like flip it. Yep, and then one hand. Weird. Wow. It's probably should have. Oh, used oh two. damn it, Bo. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so everybody made Get rid of it. it. Thank you. Goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> T 
key mark, got the baby on him, boom, that's easy money. Good floater. Was that a contested shot? That was a contested shot. Okay. First bucket of the game for him. One for six now. I don't I do not like the Davenport no. on Grant Nelson idea no. at all. I think Alabama really likes that, so. Oh, more of some mark. Oh, that was, I like I like the shot though. Yeah, like nice. shot. missed his first four, and he's still confident. Come out, good. Oh, oh, easy. There you go, L. Go to the rack. Oh, nice. Wow. Ooh, oh, come oh, here. Goodness. Spin cycle. That. Was, <laughs> The L. Ellis, I think, like, man, I just wanted to see so much more of that. I'm just glad he made it because usually those shots don't go in. I know. Him. Pretty yeah, he can get to the rim whenever he wants, but finishing is a different story. Prettiest spin move since who? Jalen Graham. Uh, he there? Desi Sills. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, dude. Dang. Yeah, good luck. Love that. Ray Nelson try to get out of there ASAP. Devo on the bottom of the. We get to watch Pringle shoot more free throws. That's fun. Fifty four percent. It's trash. Shooting fifty four percent doing that. That's what were you shooting three. with two hands? Yeah, man. Charlie says, "Does Nate approve of these layups, Curtis?" Oh, he absolutely would approve of those. I hope somebody asked him after the, the game what he thought about Arkansas shot selection. That I wonder how he feels about his team's shot selection. Okay, but uh, Brazil's back in, so that's good. I guess his nose is okay. It's going to be a big Brazil game from a matchup standpoint, I think. Mm -hmm. Who's that dude? Good pass. That's good. Up oh, contested mid range. Oh, Bang. But the shot selection for everyone yeah. except for battle. It's just. Let's say don't call that. Thank you. All right. Oh, Diva. Oh, what are you? Oh my. Come out. Jeez. Mm. I don't know what I just watched in the past uh, few minutes. Oh, so, uh, did you see that from Madison? It says uh, Brazil had a contact pop out. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a from oh. Brazil with the contested <laughs> mid-range. <laughs> they don't just beside himself. Dude, his head's his head's probably about to explode. I'm out. Ah, damn. Oh, Good answer by the big fella. Okay, so. Am I just tripping? But like the three point lines, there's two different ones. They do they look like not same distance. Man, let's go, L. Yeah, right. women, men, and women. Too. I know, but the, uh, it's not important. It's just my stupid piece of ADD. Oh, that's oh, it's terrible defense, Goodness but he smoked the layup. Let's take it. Yeah, just get the ball to your hands, Bo. Thank you. Do not touch the ball. He's going to get hit with a carry soon. Oh. This is work. Oh, T Mark. Foul. Nice block. He did just completely nice obliterate him afterwards. Four tackle but... after the layup. Yeah. Oh, steal. Good job, Bo. Bell's down there somewhere. Give it up, dude. That's Bo, man. <sighs> Arkansas is who been who. And they, they have to take a timeout. Man. Ooh. <laughs> Let's check in on uh, layup numbers and stuff. Alabama's two for nine on layups. Arkansas, 10 for 13 on layups. Bama is 4, 4 of 12 at the rim.
All right, well, I'm feeling really good about my uh, plus 15 and a half. Yeah. Yeah. And I also, I didn't parlay it, but I did bet the under too. So, no, wait. No, no, no. I didn't. I bet Arkansas money line plus 700 <laughs> with the Oakland app. Ooh. So, love that. Yeah. Lord knows I need it. Jerry Judy is going to the Cleveland Browns. Great. Really? That's it. I don't, I don't, know, what, okay. I don't know what how to feel about it. I just got a notification <laughs> from ESPN. Uh well, guys, I mean, this has been this, I mean, comparatively speaking, of the first math is hard. Uh 13 and a half minutes of a road SEC game. I feel like this might be some of the best. Basketball Arkansas's played. Yeah, um, yeah playing, man. They're playing their best ball of the year right now. And Curtis mentioned it the other day. Outside of that, what, last five minutes of the first half against Vandy and the first couple minutes of the second half in that same game, they played great. Yeah. Since yeah. they got embarrassed. Yeah, they've uh, they've turned a corner. Season. Yeah. And, you know, it stinks that they didn't do it a little bit earlier so they could have an easier path next week, but... Yeah. You know, the way they're playing now, I, I mean, I, it's cliche or whatever, but you can't uh, you can't tell me that there's any team in the league right now that's going to look at that bracket when the dust settles today and goes, oh, good, we get Arkansas. Right. I wouldn't want anything to do with that. Yeah. We can do some uh, feeding stuff right now. So we got Arkansas. You want to say Arkansas wins this game? Just I mean, based on where they're at right they're now. They're up 15. Say Arkansas so, wins. Yeah. yeah. Auburn beats Georgia at home. LSU beats Missouri at home. How do we feel about Ole Miss A and M? Ole Miss is at home. Uh, dude, that one's a toss up. I mean, I'd yeah. probably lean towards Ole Miss. I guess yeah, it's go home team. Mississippi State's at home against South Carolina. That's a toss up too, yeah. but I'll, I'll go Mississippi State in that one. Tennessee at home against Kentucky. Tennessee wins. And Vandy's at home against Florida. Let's calculate. That would put Arkansas as an 11 seed playing Missouri in the late game next Wednesday. Florida would be second there we round. Go. South good. Carolina would be Dude, there we go. On Friday. That's, that's, that's what the we dream need. matchups right yep. there. Yeah. And then if you made if, 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 capital if you made it to Saturday, you would either play AM, Mississippi State, or Auburn. Great. And yeah, that's that's the what scenario you want. That's yeah, as good as you're gonna get it. Get yeah. the setup, man. By the way, my buddy uh, Brendan, I guess, to say they were talking on the broadcast with the people. Said that uh, apparently Nate Oates was concerned about his team uh, playing out and showing out today because they don't have a shot at the regular season title anymore. And I'm like, that's true. That's truly all Alabama and Auburn basketball fans care about is the is, is a regular season title. Like, you're are you kidding me? Yeah, that you're wow. concerned about that because. Oh, I can't uh, can't win the regular season title. I don't know how much motivated we're going to be at. Dude, you're playing for seeding in the SEC tournament, also the NCAA tournament. Yes, Nick. Are you kidding you're me? rooting for Ole Miss and Mississippi State if Arkansas wins today. As weird as that sounds. As weird as that sounds. <laughs> but those are, those are going to be, I wouldn't say they're going to be good basketball games to watch, but they're watchable for from an importance standpoint. Right. Yes. Ah. you be with the foul. I'm getting waters. You might need anything while I'm up. I'm good at the moment, sir. Pizza should be here. Hopefully, soon. John's excited about that pizza, dude. Yeah, I mean, there's, <laughs> it's it's going to be a monstrosity. I can't wait to see it. Now, if you're watching, we got Simple Simons on the way. <laughs> I like Arkansas' strategy of send Nick Pringle to the free throw line. Yeah. Hack of Pringle. Hack of Pringle. That's, that's incredible stuff. I don't agree with any of this at all. Is that their Ruda? Yeah, they're, he's probably telling Oates to take Pringle out, and Oates is like, nah, I like Pringle. I like these missed free throws. So he's two of six now, I think. <laughs> is there a path to the NIT? <laughs> yeah, Pringle's uh, three for six. At the three for six, yeah. 
Okay, I only got not, dude. Ah. Foul got kind of checked and going in. I don't know. I don't yeah. know what fouls. We're going to look up at the end of this, and he's going to have like seven or eight turnovers. Mm -hmm. Because if a lot of that stuck, it's like it's going to, it's so hard to get a good whistle here. Yeah. I'd say nine fouls to three fouls. I don't know about all that. A little home cooking. So they've got Brazil hanging out in the rim, just not even guarding Pringle, yeah. which is, you know, mm. smart until that happens. Obvious, obvious analyst statement here. These last five minutes are super important. Yep. If you can keep this double digit lead really and down ball else. Or some, or somebody just move to get open. They've turned up the defense after one possession. Making them yeah. call timeout. They have turned right. it up. Watch out. I don't know if it was so much that as like. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, it's more of that. Like, <clears throat> I hate commentary. Luckily, we never do commentary. Uh, yeah. Again, if they if they can go into halftime still up by uh, double digits. double digits, it'll be you'll be in great shape. Arkansas is Who's that? the Sears family. Oh, Arkansas is up 11 3 points off turnovers, 22 to 8 points in the paint. Mm. Who, uh, who do you guys say is the greatest Alabama basketball player of all time? Is it Mo Williams? There you go. Oh, TV. Oh. Okay, Brandon Miller. I mean, <laughs> it, it might be. I mean, you know. Or was that a spree won't go to Alabama? Ew, uh, I don't know. Pringle is not good. Yet he keeps shooting. Yeah. Jeez. I'm not going to lie, though. Grant Nelson has given Caleb Battle hell. Okay, well, the, my man's 6'11", and he should be, honestly. But, I like, mean, still a fact. Mm -hmm. Like KB's awareness there to hop back inbounds and keep Sears from mm -hmm. grabbing that loose ball. Yeah, I'll take him out. That's worse. Yeah. Damn it, that girl. was off. Get some... Left his feet again to make a pass. Yep, gave it right back. No, he didn't. <clears throat> mm. Brandon also says, remember when NATO tried to cover up a third of his roster's involvement in a homicide? I do. <laughs> You're not guarding. Yeah, it's still Pringle. Get ah. That's a tough finish. Yeah. Need more help from TB right there if he's going to stand around the restricted area of the yeah, whole Yeah, he, he should at least be contesting that shot around the rim. I guess you kind of open yourself up to... Um, he finally, hey, look at that. Oh, and he's upset about the call. The first foul you picked up in a half hour. I, and I don't think you're joking. I think it actually has been this is 30 crazy, minutes man. since Arkansas has <laughs> had a foul call. God, or Alabama's right. had a foul call. Yeah. Let me look. Yeah, it was their first foul call since the 11 minute mark. It probably was 30 they, minutes. They, they just turned up the defense. That's all it was. Yeah. They just turned it up. Tough shot incoming. Oh, I wish they would stop doing that. Yeah. Oh, man, that looked like it was... He did that one, three bow. Man, he That's had... That's in. Oh, yeah. Lost. Damn it, man. Dude, Sears is good. Actually, yeah, I think I agree. That was a moving screen. Eight point game. Gotta finish this out strong here.
Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. They're now both down. Now you got two down. guys on ground in there. It's bad news. Good recovery. Over. Close. Good scramble. And then Ale gets blown by. Like he's not even there. It's like putting one of those cones out there. The guys dribble around and record That's themselves. My dad says it's a highway department defense. Damn, man. Yeah, what a, what a great what a great view of celebrations here. Is that a? I guess Dad doesn't even look like he gives a. <laughs> about what's going on. You know what he's thinking in his mind? Long game, long game. Mm -hmm. Check in on some of these plus minuses. Devo minus four in nine minutes. Everybody else is in the positive. Did you guys do any parlays today, or was you just? I think I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until tonight, probably. I have uh, I sprinkled some on some of the 11 a.m. games, but uh, kind of saving up to empty the clip on the UFC card tonight. So. Yeah, I think I almost it, took Memphis plus points against FAU. Well, and also, folks, heads there. up. We have a massive Natty State Sports fathead for the NCAA tournament bracket coming here. God, I can't wait. And we're going to put, like, we have, we do have the room up here in the office to post it. I think we're going to put, when you post on that yeah, wall, on probably. Wall. Yeah, a little wall. So, and here's my idea. I'm going to run by, I think I was thinking that as far as us filling it out, we get me, us three, Ellis, and Branson. Yeah. And each game we vote on it. And since it's five, one of them's gonna win. And whoever is the you know, majority rules, that's mm -hmm. what we fill out. For Love each it. game. Love that. With it. Yeah. I guess or I should or I guess I was, really should ask this question first. Should we do it as a pick or should we do it as just a writing it in as the games go on of like who actually won? Uh, well, we should do I'm both. Good with, it's a dry erase one, so we can I'm do both. I'm good with filling it out, and if we miss it, we just cross the team's name out. Yeah. Yeah. Because we have, and we have different color expo markers. Keep receipts on ourselves. Oh, there like, you go, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> put a red, put, yeah. Put a red through it if it worked out. So, yeah. That would be fun. Uh, I'm going to do that. Yeah, that's uh, in the Instagram ads got me again, John. Yeah. Oh, is there something else? No, it was, uh, it was, no, it was that. Oh, I thought I was, you were saying. I was, I was flipping through IG stories the other day right before football practice and fathead NCAA tournament and uh, the men's and women's tournament fathead brackets just mm -hmm. popped up. You know, like those targeted ads between stories. Yeah. Got I'm telling you, man. Thank you. That's how it gets me. Like, I, when I scroll through, I see Vineyard Vines is having 60% off. Oh, and it hit, it hurts. Before, like Christmas, just... before Christmas, the uh, the boot snakes uh -huh. that I wear. Um, Instagram. Instagram, man. Yeah. It'll get you. Did the Hogs forget what they were doing the first 10 minutes? No, I just think it was inevitable that Bama was going to heat yeah. up. You know, it's just... It's not like... That's what they do. I mean, that, that style is so conducive to, like, crazy swings and runs throughout a game. Um, but Arkansas's got to respond here, man. Yep. He's Momentum is shifted. Three minutes are big. Ooh. Oh, is Sears hurt? He get Charlie Horse? Is that that's big? Knee to knee or something? Mm -hmm. Can't wait for him like come back in the second half and go for thirty. Yeah, he'll he'll be all right. Yeah. Oh yeah, there His you go. His face is banged <laughs> up too. Like what is happening? It's a war in there, you. man. All right, here we go. Blocker has not played. Blocker yet. is out of the rotation at this time. Mm -hmm. I played to Grammy to make the trip. I thought I saw him during warm ups, but I, I hey, really Brazil? couldn't swear to that. Wow. Hey, Brazil is hooping, hooping, man. TB and Grant Nelson, Spider Man meme, just pointing at each other. A little spa. Oh, is that you're nice? Just, you're just not getting that call, dude. Yeah. 
what buildings, what uh, road buildings in the league are the toughest places to get calls in? I used to think it was Kentucky. Yeah. But they've dropped it's honestly dropped down my list a little bit. Dude, I think like, Starkville, State, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. crazy. And Coleman too, because remember like the, the, when they played there two years ago, remember that it was like in the crucial part of the game. Arkansas had a one point lead. Jeez. Wow. He's just getting a shot was... whoop today. Yeah, he is. Oh, T whoa. Punch what that is ball? happening? Oh, good recovery, Mercy. KB. Oh, throw it up, throw it up. Oh, that's a terrible line. This is, Dang it. That looked like it could have been a foul, but. I know. <laughs> that probably should have been a foul. That's what everyone's barking about. Close. Good, Mark. Good recovery. Slow Pour down. Now, slow yeah. down. Yep, 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 good, yep, yep, good, yep. good, 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 good. Yeah, when well, Alabama got that uh, call Woo. at the end of the game for. They went and reviewed it. It was an out of bounds play clearly off of Alabama, but they called on Arkansas even after the review. So, yeah, there's. Not that I remember that call or that game or anything. <laughs> Good L. Oh, dude, you should have. She just went yeah, up. Yeah, I should have gone up with it. Get in ball. Ah, I don't well, mind the shot. I like that he stepped into it. Mm -hmm. What the? Mercy. What the? Uh, are you kidding me? Oh, Muss is. Muss is. Dude, pissed, man. Bro. Dude. There's a foul. Oh, Muss is losing his mind. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that, is, that is an I'm awful call. I'm telling no you, call. dude, this building right here. That is, look at yeah. this. Please show this replay. No, wait, this is not the replay I want to see. Who'd they call the foul on, T-Mark? Wait, there's a foul on Arkansas? Yes, they called a foul on Arkansas. That's what I'm saying, like, that, those, that, that sequence of calls were absolute garbage. Holy shit, What? Same. And that official is letting Eric give it to him because he knows everything he's saying to Eric is a major hat. Like it's Dude. just how do you how do you defend that call? Oh wow. That's uh something. That that I mean I uh, like that is I, I cannot believe today, that. Man. I mean I can. <laughs> But I can't believe that that was a real thing. Like, that, like you know, Musk does have a lot of freakouts, but that was one that's 100% justified. Yeah. That was trash. And Oates is actually talking to an official right now. Like, what could you possibly have to say besides thanks? Send yeah. me your cash app. Let's say quit talking to him so he can try refing the game. He'll get nothing here. There you got it. And Alabama can't look. And they're not travel. Oh, Oates is calling. Shut up. Walk now. Shut get up. Out of here, man. Battle's pissed, Sue. I don't blame him. I can't believe that. He traveled every time. My man, you covered up a murder. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> Might be a makeup call right there. Like, that was like, atrocious. Oh, man. All right, just. At least we're having fun again. Yeah. What was Battle's number for this game? 21 and a half, or was it more than that? I don't I don't remember. Um Yeah, I think that's I think that was it. What's he at now? Is he in double figures? Um he is at he should be. Nine points. T B has ten. Wow. Yeah. Ellis with eight. Just oh my gosh, dude, that's just too easy. Too He's, easy. Uh, L. Ellis is in his bag defensively. Yeah. He's given up four buckets on six shots. That's tough. Our dasher is on the way. Good timing. Okay, this ball needs to be in one of two people's hands. And it, it ain't L. Ellis. Yeah. Mark's not and in it ain't L. Ellis. It's got to be battle. Get and it ain't L. Ellis. Ellis. Dude. Why, man? Why? It's the worst final possession team that's, that's, in the yeah. history of basketball. Yeah. End of half stuff. They bad. never get it right. Ouch. Ay, ay, ay. I don't feel good about this. No, I don't at all. 
like again, it, the double you had to have a double digit lead going in, and you don't. So now it's like, here's what's gonna happen. Alabama's gonna come out second half, probably taking or like get to go on to like a yeah, you know, eight two run, Real tie it quick. up. Quarter's awesome. Damn, you don't Damn. like that? I like it. Dang it. <laughs> Why did I not roll? I don't think I could. Dude. I don't think I like that. I, I mean, maybe I, I do. I, I think I, you'll I, be happy that you didn't. Really? I think so. Who's the? Is it TCU that has like the gray arena with the future skin? Razorback yeah. black golden? Yeah, it looks like a honeycomb. Yeah. Yeah, they mm-hmm. figured it out. Yeah, Memphis is plus seven and a half. I was listening to the Iron College Basketball podcast, mm-hmm. and Gary Parrish was talking about FAU's arena, and it's named after some chick named Eleanor or something. And he was like, I wonder who that is. And so he was just trying to like find information on it. And uh, apparently the chick is like a uh, – she's like a Northwestern grad, and she's just she's like a high school social studies teacher. In the area, and she just came across a bag and like donated a bunch of money or whatever. So the, their arena is just randomly named after a social <laughs> studies teacher who became an FAU fan. Uh, oh, I was going to show you this, Curtis. So this, remember if I was telling you about last night. Whoa, man! Yeah. Soon to be John L. Davis. What is court happening at Illinois? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is just what happens, you know, in, in the life of uh, all of it. Yeah, it gets. Oh, so this has been like rehearsed before. Uh huh. Okay. It's like this yeah. is like talent show in elementary school type, you know. <laughs> so. Oh. Nope. No. That's an A plus effort. That was my yeah. night last there night. There you go. <laughs> Um, okay. How many strikeouts does Hagen have today? Dude, at least 15. Yeah, he's I mean, going to he give up the... a bomb in the first, yeah. the first inning, and then he's just going to mow him down afterwards. If he doesn't get to double digit K's, I'd be, I'd be, stri- I'd be pretty surprised. Also, if that stat by Addison is correct, which I don't see why it wouldn't be, he says Bama's 335th in the country in fouling. They are. Yeah, they average, they, they average almost fouls. 20 fouls per game. That is a, that is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Uh, will the fouls even out in the second half? Probably no. not. I mean, they might not be as lopsided as they just were, but Charlie um, wants to know if we like Oregon's arena. I don't I don't think I like that one. That's yeah. a little too much for me. Yeah, I'm the same. Like, I'm not like They're stupid for having it. Yeah. But I just like it's just not for me. Yeah. Um, actually, yeah. Arkansas does foul more than Alabama. <laughs> And only Missouri fouls more than Arkansas in the SEC. Um, how many strikeouts is Hagen have today? I'm gonna go with. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with eight. I'm go with eleven. Yeah, All right. seems I'll light. go ten. <laughs> but hey, but here's the thing: it's like Arkansas has how many free throws? I guess I'm gonna go. How many free throws has Arkansas taken? I think eight. Eight. And Alabama's got 12, 12. So yeah, for the fact that Arkansas and I know it's they didn't close great, but like the fact that they still have a six point lead at halftime, and a huge part of their offense has been at least lately getting to the free throw line. And they've only taken eight. Like that's, I feel like that's still that could be maybe a silver lining if maybe the the calls start going a little bit more Arkansas's way and the fouls. Listen, yeah, Arkansas, the rack. Arkansas. So Alabama was in the bonus with ten minutes left in the first half. Arkansas fouled three times after that. That's about as good as you could do. Yeah. To be honest. I mean, you're on pace to foul 14 times and a half, and then you finish with 10. Pretty good. Ain't bad. And then also fouling Nick Pringle. Pretty good strategy. I like the Pringle foul thing. It's a good play. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know, man. I know. I feel I feel uneasy. It just strikes me as one of those uh Bama takes the lead before the first media timeout mm-hmm. and must yeah, have to they, need to, they need to protect against a, yeah. a a run right out of the half. Yep. 
I'm gonna, yeah, if Arkansas has a lead that is eight points or more by the 10 minute mark, they're winning the game. That's what I'm gonna do. Any word on the new running back coach? Yeah, there was a report out earlier today, and there's a story on our site. Colby Smith is uh, reportedly the guy. The GA, GA at yeah, Arkansas in 2012 Arkansas. was with Petrino at Western Kentucky and Louisville. Mm -hmm. So familiar with, uh, you know. Yeah, and, <laughs> and for the record, and I'm going to say this, I alluded a little bit to it on my show yesterday, but... That is a really a chicken bleep move, I believe, by Jimmy Smith. I'm that just gonna be stinks, honest. man. It's kind of crazy. That is just it's that's lame. Like I get, I know every we always about we all want to have better opportunities for ourselves, no matter what it is. But as a football coach, you're at a, the man is at the practice that morning, and he's gone that afternoon in spring. That's just that's that's messed up. Yeah. Now, I can even ship this for like a coordinator position or something, but it's like, he's yeah, a lateral back move. Coach. Yeah. And it's actually a downgrade unless he's the associate head coach at yeah. TCU now. Yeah. And I think he was you know, making like, 360, 360,000 here, here at Arkansas. So I'd be curious to see if that comes out of what he's making there. Mm -hmm. Man. Yeah. That's a tough one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I like Jimmy Smith too. Mm hmm. He was, he was a great coach. Yeah, he's kind of a vibes coordinator. He's a really good recruiter, too. Mm -hmm. It's going to hurt him, especially uh, down in Georgia, man. Well, I was also thinking about it, too. Like, you think yesterday, or just with Jimmy Smith leaving, the offensive staff for Arkansas, except for except for uh, Morgan, uh, Morgan, right? He's the tight ends coach, right? Yeah, Morgan yeah. Turner. Morgan Turner, except for him. Your entire offensive staff has been turned over but they all got turned over at completely different times. Like Danny knows is your OC quarterback coach. He gets fired in the middle of the year, mm -hmm. right? Then you get your wide receivers coach uh, that's after leaves. Guiden leaves. Yeah, after yeah. Guiden, and he, he leaves. And then, you, of course, had Cody Kennedy. He he left. And now you had Jimmy Smith. So, But all of them left at, like, the most random times. Yeah. It's crazy. Mm. Defensive staff, pretty intact. Yeah. Yeah. Deke Adams, completely intact. Deke Adams, I was talking with uh, Al Ferguson the other day. I, I noticed, uh, I think it was day one. I was like, man, Deke Adams looks like he's slimmed up a little bit. He he has dropped some weight. Mm -hmm. Looks like he could play. Uh, he looks good. Darren Wilson, still doing his thing. Travis Williams, Marcus Woodson. Darren Wilson has it? been the biggest surprise to me through two days of practice because he was very – not quiet, but just kind of not that loud, I guess. Last year, I yeah. remember, and he's been he's been eating dudes alive. And the defense has been getting cooked, so that might be part of it. But yeah, he's, he's on uh, he's on guys' heads, and uh, yeah, he when is, they're doing man. footwork drills around those cones and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, I, I, got I time to play around. Yeah, I haven't uh, like because even the defensive staff, other than just losing every linebacker you had on the roster. I mean, I, I I think Deke Adams is a good coach. I really do. I think Deke Adams is a good coach. Remember when he got hired and everybody was like, this ain't going to work? Yeah. And then, well, geez, they, well, they went through three defensive line coaches in three years because all of them yeah. were pretty bad. Like, it was Derek LeBlanc was yeah. the first year. Was it Jamal Ashley? Jamal Ashley. Jamal Ashley was the second year. And then Deke Adams came in. I think that's right. Yeah. And then Deke Adams, I think he's recruited well and – I think the D-line has at least been serviceable. But I think him and also uh, Woodson, you know, you think about mm -hmm. what he, the job he's done, I think he's been really good. I'm not a big Arby's guy, but that sandwich looked good. What was what kind of sandwich? Just like, I don't know. There's like some good-looking bacon on it, and it's on a Hawaiian. Was uh, Hawaiian? Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, I'll, I'll say this. Is this a commercial with John Calipari? Yes, it is. Yeah. Like, <laughs> um, but I'll say this. Arby's I actually like. But I, if you put, wind up all the major ch fast food chains in a row of the ones I've been to, uh, the like the least mm. or like the ones that's been the longest since I've been to it, Arby's might be it. I cannot remember the last time I ate at Arby's. But I like Arby's. It's just not. Get that not, beef and cheddar. I mean, it's not conveniently located because they don't have one on MLK, do they? Yeah, they do. Right next to Sonic. 
shows yeah, how much I know. That's right. It's yeah. exa- I'm, and this is my hometown for crying out loud. <laughs> so they used to have one because I worked at Best Buy in high school. And I think the last time I went to one was when I was in high school at Best Buy. Because and there was one next to Best Buy in Fayetteville. I don't know if it's still there. But it was that or Taco Bueno. Mm. Rest in peace. Yeah, I feel like that building's just been a recycle. It's recycled with like new taco yeah. joints. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's King, kind of- King Burrito or... Taco yeah, Bell or something. Mm-hmm. Always. And there's that place that was the O'Charlies, and then is it still Grubs or is it that close too? You know, a place next to Target. Um, like... it closed. Okay, is it the like... Grubs that was in it closed? I feel like they. Oh, is it a Longhorn now? There is a Longhorn over there, and uh, maybe that's the same building. Yeah, it might be. Actually, yeah. yeah. Huh. There's definitely a Longhorn yeah, that was there. Grubs uptown. Uh. Some gal named Michelle Wilkerson in our chat says, fun fact, I saw that building is becoming an Andy's. Oh, oh even better. Okay, yeah, I like that. That might work over there. I next like to that. the, you know, the movie theater, you know, ice cream for the kids. Mm-hmm. I like Andy's, yeah, that man. way you don't have to leave the area and go to Shakes. That's right. College. Shout out to it's Smart, too. Location. Oh. Cherry bash from Andy's is godly. So you read the Andy's Andy's smacks, man. They got they got some good stuff. I don't know. I don't know about Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. Like I would like to say Tyson just knocks that dude out, but I've also been seeing videos of him walking around with a cane. So I don't know. Like if he's gonna do it, I think he's gonna have to do it in the first round or two. Oh, apparently our uh, our CEO Branson Van Landingham is. Uh, going to the Tyson Paul fight. Really? Oh my gosh. Faster. Good for him. Mm-hmm. Because it's at AT&T Stadium. Yeah. Right? So. It'll be a doozy, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's actually happening. You it's real, man. You can watch it on Netflix. Yeah, and you can watch it on Netflix. <laughs> That's exactly That's right. I was talking to Ellis about it the other day, because I think y'all talked about it on the six-pack. Mm-hmm. But I got on ESPN and saw, like, you know, they've got the top headlines on the right side of the home screen. It was down at the bottom, Paul versus Tyson. Clicked on it and it said at 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 and T Stadium and on Netflix. And I'm like, that sentence <laughs> makes no sense at all. Yeah, man. How much do they, they have to put a price? On how much it's char- they're charging for it? I don't think they are. So it's literally if you have Netflix, you get it. I think so. Unless they change their mind. Like, hold on a second. I have like to reactivate for a night. How much money, like, because, you know, the, that, that's what these things are all about is the fighters getting money. But how, where is that money? I guess in just the new subscribe subscriptions to Netflix, they get a yeah, cut of money. Probably that. They're going to get $11 from me again. Yeah, probably that. And they'll sell out AT&T. And... Well, it's not like it's always the reason they did pay-per-view and all that stuff, just because the amount of money that they got scared me to do. Which, by the way, I know you guys aren't big, big fight guys, but... The Francis Ngannou dude got freaking wept yesterday. Uh, the the MMA guy that was like the heavyweight champion and unbeatable, and then he he fought Tyson Fury in a boxing match. Everybody thought he could go win the heavyweight title as a boxer. He got unloaded on, like knocked unconscious. Mercy. It was, was crazy. last night. Last night, yeah, yeah. It was Anthony Joshua dude got him. It was a shot. He knocked him down three times in two rounds and damn near killed him. I definitely enjoy watching the fights mm. when i'm watching them yeah but i'm not like after the fights i'm not gonna go like read about a guy right. that makes sense mm. like i'm just i'm really i'm a real casual hayden says if arkansas only wins one conference game football only wins one conference game next year who they would you don't want to play, play Bama next year yeah, David, they don't play Bama. Texas. Yeah, Texas. I say Texas yeah. for sure. Because that's their toughest game on the schedule, and it's Texas. And it's at home. And the last time you played them, you beat the brakes off of them. So, yeah, definitely Texas. Beat them this year and don't storm the field. What's their number one? Correct. Well, you storm the field. Okay. That's it. <laughs> because then, there's a chance they could be number one. Then, I think the, uh, the field rushing thing, like if you storm the field against a conference opponent, Fine. The money that you're fined goes to the school who you storm the field on. So you'd be giving that money straight to the UT. I don't think you want to do that. No. 
But I don't think also those drunk kids in the student section aren't even thinking they're about not, it. Yeah, but of course, I don't know you guys. Alabama had to practice the storm, uh, storm in the court stuff with their security just in case the kids were going to storm against Arkansas. <sighs> because I, that still blows my mind. Uh, that they were practicing that. And it's like, I started looking, I was like, well, they have like a game against Tennessee or something. Oh, no, it's just Arkansas at home is the only game they have <laughs> left of the season. Jimmy's jacket looks like it's made out of uh, yeah i don't know what's going on there. like hoodie material yeah also uh i would have said this was Ar- or alabama super bowl against arkansas but there's not enough people in the stands correct that. somebody just called me a bit 13 000, something like that Ooh, good question. yeah it's, it's one of the smaller because auburn's still one of the smallest mm-hmm it's apparently allegedly it seats 15. Mm. all right yeah i don't know and also i remember like all oh, the students like the student section's full like, the students are on spring break like the students cared all right let's get weird with this Wow, oh, that's a good start. Work. That is a Another great start. Take Grant that. Nelson. That's a foul, too. It's a good call, ref. All right. Hey, listen, we're right in front of the Arkansas bench. Yeah, you don't make that call. You're going to hear something from us that you're going to remember the rest of your life. <laughs> who who would you say was Arkansas's best free throw shooter of like the modern era? Like not maybe in, not just clutch situations, but just automatic no matter what. what you said because to me it was like either like Dusty Hannah's and. Uh, I know Macon, but people would, forget. Would, yeah, like Kai Madden actually shot ninety percent from the free throw line his last year. Yeah, I mean it's probably recency bias, but KB's one for yeah. me, and then Easy. probably Daryl Macon. Yeah, definitely Macon. Oof, let's travel. Good, Good block, okay. claw. Bam was one for six against him today. Yeah. Uh, no, how many steps does that take? Woo, got bailed out there. Yeah. Okay, Ellis on Nelson. That's is not is that that's Nelson. Oh, okay, spin cycle. <laughs> Match up. Okay, DoorDash. I need this pizza here, like stat. I don't know what y'all are doing right now. Oh, hey, yeah, everybody who's in there now saying Chris likes, that was an oversight on our part. Oh, man, it was clutch as it came, you know? <laughs> Except against Vandal. Oh, my goodness, what KB. Happened? KB got five turnovers. I told you I was going to be like a seven or eight turnover day for the man. Yeah. No foul. what they call? On T-Mark? what they call? He said they called they called this. He did this. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> I don't know. He was humping him though. Okay, so apparently Raphael, I'm not even kidding, is approaching with the pizza. Right. We have okay. a literal ninja turtle coming with the pizza. And that makes me so happy. <laughs> it makes me so happy. To get him on the stream. I'd say if it was Michelangelo, that's the only thing that would have made it better. Oh wow, Mark's got three. Mm-hmm. Dang. Him and Kai both had and two. In comes Devo. Should be going. Should be going. All right. Be fine. Man. Ew. Just fouling. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, was Devo telling him to rebound the first one? 
you don't have to worry about the foul. You rebound the first miss. That's true. <laughs> it's got a point. <laughs> There's so many empty seats that the mascot has a Gucci Rose seat. <laughs> Dang it. Ah. Nick Pringle made both free throws. That's Never a bad touch. sign. Good idea. <laughs> My goodness. They're There's... not going to give battle a no, damn no. thing. That was an automatic whistle in blood. Dang. He got... Dude. Well, tough finish by Nelson there. Five point lead now, down two. Arkansas is just going to have to embrace the physicality, and mm -hmm. it's going to be one of those games. Problem is, I just don't know. I don't know if Arkansas can win without getting to the free throw line effectively. I like, I just don't think they can. Did not like that shot. But. Mm -hmm. Ah. Got away with Ooh. one. Yeah, they got away with one for sure. No need to force TB. I think Eric wanted to foul on uh, the guy Claw or climbing all over Claw's back on that cut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that great of a finish that we need to show it nine times, but. Step back. Well, Give it back to him. What in the that world? I do. Charge? Offensive. Yeah. Is that the boy. first charge Arkansas has taken this season? I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. I feel like that might be. Is that on Nelson, too? Yeah. So yeah. That's three? Mm -hmm. Man. <laughs> Let's see. Was it an actual oh. offensive foul? Oh, good call. Stepped in. Waiting on it. That a boy. Yep. Out of control. Yep. LLS defense alert. And they're leaving them in. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to play Nick Walters just yet. That's good. Hit it. There you go. Woo! Okay. More of that, Ellis. Yeah, that's saucy. Saucy is his dad got pizza and needs to be here like that. It just said, Mike, it said Raphael was approaching with your order five minutes ago. Nice. Off nice work. All right. So, got through the first segment with a extended lead. Yeah. Is there a way you can call Raphael from DoorDash? Or can you? He might be downstairs mm -hmm. looking. Yeah. He might well, I be. put the you know, I put in the message like I, I gave him instructions of like where you how you need. Can to he do get on the elevator? But though, but that's what I'm saying. It's like oh. go through the basement area. Yeah. I'm not, I don't need to say it on our stream because we're going to give out all of our secrets. <laughs> but add it to where, you know, he's using the super secret entrance way. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's always there. But I don't know, maybe parking's tough. I mean, he can call me. I wish we had an, and that's the one thing that I wish we had in this office was an oven because then we could just like put the heats in there and keep it on, keep warm. Look, look at this, dude. Look at, look at this. Look at this thing. It, it's, it's jumping all over the place. It's like, look at that. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. No worries, man. Michelle, that's the best comment ever. He's coming up through the sewer. That is awesome. Thank you for the Ninja Turtles <laughs> reference. That is great. That's the best comment. Thank you for that. <laughs> Raphael's delivering the pizza through the sewer.
David said you can get Arkansas plus 200 on the money line still. Man, that's might be a good might be a good bet right there. Turtles in action, turtle power. You gonna get him to sign the pizza box when he gets here? Dude, yes. If he but what if he showed up wearing red? I guess that was that was Raphael's <laughs> color. Simons is a it's a red establishment. Get me excited. Right, I'm gonna give him about three more minutes and I'm gonna call it. Because I don't want him delivering it to like the wrong place and make it for a great pizza that's being delivered. KB's got a team high of 12. TB and L are both in double figures with 10. Um, your guy Aaron Estrada is struggling today. Yeah, he is. Open five. Woo, five yikes. turnovers. Yikes. That's uh that's noble. No, David, Raphael was not nunchucks. Raphael was the size. You know, little pointy things. Nunchucks is Michelangelo. The stick is Donatello. Hello, the elevator does not work. Sir, I said to go to the other one. All right, I'll be right back. Wow. Triple double on all this. Damn. Hagan Smith has uh, pitched one in the third innings, has three strikeouts. <laughs> Naturally. Walked three batters, too. What you running here? Something for KB. Whatever gets uh, Grant Nelson in some action. Mm. That yeah, there you go. Kai's bad one. Kai uh, Nelson. Or... Ooh, who did they give that to? Yeah, fourth on Grant Nelson with fifteen minutes left. Mm -hmm. You mad, bro? All he can say is that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> Well, two man game. <clears throat> ah, get up, get up, get up. Holy cow, that's a foul, dude. Okay. I'm not liking how many uncontested threes Bam is getting, but, uh, Maybe they're all bothering Lonson for a reason. Yeah. Know. Pizza, dude. Hey. What I miss? Anything? Not really. Oh, uh, Grant on. Nelson got his fourth foul. Oh, man. It's almost like leaving an end was a dumb move. <laughs> Good job, Nate. Wait, so I don't miss. No. Oh, goodness. Total scramble mode. Ah, he's a good shooter. Dang. Sheesh. Mm. Four point game. You got to get a good look here. Oh, that's a three, Brazil. Good look. Just got to make it. Sure. 
Dude, NATO is so mad. <laughs> is he mad that his one of his players didn't he open a homicide? Cannot, he just cannot imagine that one of his big guys would have to wrestle with Makai Mitchell to get Dang. a rebound. Ow, oh, bro. Jeez. Bro, they gripe about everything. Yeah, they do. I mean, what are you mad about? <laughs> wow, now it's six pounds. How about that? Yeah. Amazing. God. High low. Got the mismatch, but another Brazil three. Nope. Stop ball. Weren't matched up and one point game. Wow. Mark just like that. Mark got too deep. Lost his man. Yeah, Spring break crowd away. comes to life. There you Foul. go. Yeah. Oh, and they can't believe it. Kai's draw feels like crazy this half. Got to get a. Uh, Can't get battle back in the game, dude. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Man. By the way, Raphael is wearing blue. <laughs> did you talk to him about it? Or did he not seem like a guy who got it? He actually did not speak English. Oh. Oh. There you go. Is that the refuse suck? Is what this? Like, are you kidding me? This is why Alabama is not a serious basketball program. Because their fans are so stupid. They don't understand basketball whatsoever. Like, what? How is that not a foul? Like, I just it's 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 mind blowing. These schools in Alabama, they don't know ball. I don't know ball, but I know that's a foul. Kai needs to. I'd, I'd like if he settled a bit. Yeah, just settle. He's wound up. Yes, he is. Here we go. I mean, that was just a great, yeah, great finish. Yeah, you live with that. I mean, what are you going to do? A ball in here? Nope. Man, oh, they, they gripe just, about oh. everything. Yeah, they do. Everything. Whining so much. Again, very unserious basketball program. It's a moan, it's a moan. Nick Yates says, when does the Makai player come? He almost got it at the beginning of the game. Oh, oh, uh, oh, Bama Ruta's getting after it. Yeah. Don't How are you shut. telling him to shut up? I think he is. And he As should. He should? Yeah. I'm yeah. surprised that they didn't get a tech for that. Well, at least can have to say. Uh, so, by the way, uh, Hagen Smith has two, uh, five strikeouts in two innings. Him. <laughs> him, him, him. Yeah, see, yeah, he's oh, yeah. He's Good. Damn, man. So I guess they give him a warning. You go, Bo. It's pretty good pizza. Not bad. Stop. Got T mark on the 610 shooter. Should work. That's good, Kai. 
complaining again. Nate Oates is mad. It was the team. Again, they don't understand the game of basketball. Because here's the thing, I make fun of Kentucky, but that's, they're that's a great deep. defense. Like, yeah, you can't, there's nothing more. I make fun of Kentucky, but like their fans are smart basketball fans. Like mm-hmm. they're not just like crying about every single thing. Now that's that a foul and all else, yeah. yeah. And the fans are like, yay, finally. Put their hard hats on. JD got pushed in the back. No, I didn't call that. Get the ball out of his hands. Nope. <laughs> Side step three. Yeah, that's tough. Brilliant. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of that, really. Get out. There you go, L. Board by L. Got some, got some run outs. Here we go. Shoot it. Hit that JD. Oh boy! <laughs> oh, I shot from Davenport. Love it. You can't do it. Yeah, it's a good board, JD. Leave it to Big Davenport, man. <laughs> Huge shot. Mm-hmm. Not ah, was... easy there. We almost oh, traveled. Dang. Almost traveled again. Standing and watching Kai. What in the world? Off him. Yeah. Too much dribbling, man. All right. We were at the under 12. Arkansas still with a six point lead. So, yeah, get you some of that pizza. Man, it's just thick. Nick Lefer, every time I heard that. Getting naked, man. Um. <laughs> We have an air, and also the air, my air fryer is still here at the office if you guys want to reheat it, which is a great way of reheating pizza. Mm. So just to throw it out there. So, yeah, simple Simons. You know, I don't want to take over like a bar stool, you know, one by that's the mm. rule type thing, but pretty solid. It's good stuff. Pretty solid. Because I will say, you know, you always got the delivery places, you know, the, the classic delivery places. But you now with like DoorDash and stuff, I'm like, now I can actually get more options of delivered pizza. Right. How are we feeling right now? Decent? Uh, I'm not feeling great, but I don't feel awful. Because again, yeah, Davin, that Davenport shot gave me a yes, shot of confidence. You had, yeah. If he, if, if this is still a, I know it sounds stupid, but it's like if this was just a uh, two or three or one, two or three point game right now, I'd be like, mm-hmm. but yeah, I hitting mean, that shot, making it a six point lead and Arkansas. Yeah, it was like it was the fact that he hit the shot, came down, Bama missed a three. Yeah. yeah. JD was there for a what should have, like he had a guy climbing on his back or climbing or jumping over the top of him. Right. Um, gets the rebound. Like that's a, you get hit a three, you can't get it right back. You just can't. Arkansas shooting two of twelve in the second half, and their lead hasn't evaporated at all. That's crazy. You take that. Bama's not obviously shooting it well either, but that's good. Although they just took a point away from Alabama, it looks like. Did at least they? on stat broadcast. Mm, they did. I guess that one three. But they said, oh, I forgot who hit it. But Yep, the one from Reitzel. Yeah. They changed uh, out of the two. <laughs> now it's a three-possession game. That's huge. It's big. Bro, this pizza's crazy. They're hiding Canadian bacon under the cheese. Man, I think it's nuts. It's intense. Well, I added some cheddar to it. And it's stuffed crust, so like... There's a lot going on. I'd say I might be bricked up for the rest of the day. (laughs) 
need to talk to Jeremiah Davenport about why his nickname is two times. Yeah. Listen, if you're if you know Davenport or anybody in his immediate circle, send them my way because I want to I want to find out. Because he brought that up the other night mm-hmm. when Battle said that when they played each other when they were at their previous schools, Davenport would hit a shot and say two times. And then KB was like, yeah, that's his nickname. And then that's just kind of where it ended. Just stopped. <laughs> but I noticed on Instagram, his handle is like JDAV2X. So I don't, I need to get to the bottom of it. They kind of have like a little Michael Musselman looking guy on the Alabama staff too. Sounds like Nate Oates is just trying to mimic whatever Eric Musselman's doing. Yeah. That's what it sounds I don't like to me. Yeah. <laughs> Except for the you know winning in the tournament part. Mm, battle still by end. So let's see how that works out. Come out. Good terrible shot. Yeah, it's a rushed three. Mm. Oh gosh. Oh. He got finished, dude. Yeah. Well, I, was he? So he just like I, I don't know what that was. Did he? Was he going up for the shot and then changed his mind mid shot and then just threw it? Like I, or did I'm he? Not sure. I don't know. Yeah, I need to see a replay. That was weird. But yeah, should have gone up with it. But Mark shooting free throws isn't bad either. Oh, uh-huh. uh-huh. dude, got a lamp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be good here to see for T Mark to see the ball go through mm-hmm. potentially. <laughs> Nick said Kai's trying to get a triple double <laughs> Hey, get your numbers up, big fella. Did you have a double double? Okay, he's got no, he stalls <laughs> us. He got six points, two boards, one assist. Come on. Mercy. That's soft, but is that four? No. Yeah. Um, four yeah. four of T Martin. That's four. Yeah, you gotta get KB back in now, right? Have to. Yeah. Here's the thing, this officiating has definitely been pretty inconsistent. But I don't know. It's been bad both ways. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, been some calls here and there that have not been good. Both like sides of it. That T mark, those free throws. Mm-hmm. I don't think you should have got those. I didn't see a whole lot of contact unless it was, you know, below the waist stuff. Yeah. Kind of boy. Oh, jeez, Davenport. <laughs> Alabama's shoots 79% from the free throw line on the season, and today they're 68%. Wow. Okay, okay JD. Go Davenport. Oh, yeah. <laughs> little ISO for JD. Yeah, love it. And my goodness, hell, dude. And one. And one? Yikes. Ellis just got blown by. <clears throat> like, dude, come on. That's tough. Foul on battle. On a reach. Oh, oh, yeah. oh okay. I thought they called it on Mackay, but like, jeez. So is that three for battle? Or just uh, two? Just... Okay, I guess. I, I have so no many comment. comments. I have so many comments about that. <laughs> I'm not going to refrain. That's big Jim. Love it. <laughs> Jeez. It's dangerous pass. Work. You got yeah, stairs you, on. Dude, you got you. Baby food. Dude. Arkansas's ball. No, apparently they're going to Bama. Okay, well, ESPN, get your ticker in line. Right. <clears throat> I 
All right, need to stop. Uh, that's long right. two. I think Nate Nate's about to sit him. His mom's dialing in. She's very dialed in. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, they almost got you on that spin. Hell. Yeah. Mm. Stop ball. Crap. Too easy. Three point game again. On his head? Wow. Oh, it's on, how's that on his head? head? <laughs> <clears throat> I gotta do something here. Oh man, I don't hate it. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I thought he ran into his own player. Oh, he tripped over him, tripped over his foot? Yeah. I don't think that was a... Did he? Okay. On his head. Yeah, that's... That's, that's again, layup. Alabama Alabama players and fans are idiots, and they don't understand basketball. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> the two dorky white dudes. Yeah, like, oh, oh, I'm, doing, I'm doing things over here. Look at me. Wow. I mean, nice finish, but like... I know, but like, that's not on your head. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Dude, L is just getting. Dude, no way. There is no way. Mm. And just like that, it's like Arkansas is now in the bonus. Is that on battle as well? Because they just showed him on TV. Yeah, that was on Kai. Okay, so I don't know why they're showing him. We're just dead sound showing that every time. And he smoked it. Hee <laughs> hee. She's intense, man. Yeah. I kind of like it. Show more. That was a pretty cut. Like, I'm. Never mind. <laughs> the little bag she's carrying a... with her is. Yeah. It's neat. As do, I've never seen one like that. <laughs> all, the parent, all the parent shots we've ever seen. It can't be an 8 0 run. Arkansas wasn't up 10, were they? They were. Oh, good shot, boy. They were? Okay. I thought they were long, was that a long two, Curtis? <laughs> it was a long two. That's a long three. That's like bad yeah. three. <laughs> oh, battle. Okay. Oh. 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 Yikes. <laughs> He's going to get that turn. Hey, man, is that six? Six. <laughs> point game my goodness this has been a wild one man it's fun yeah, uh -huh. I don't feel like this something's something's dumb gonna like happen in these final eight minutes. Like really, really dumb. Good TB. Um, okay. Well, no, no foul. Complaining. What about on your head? On my yeah, head. Complaining. Review it. Yeah, this guy's already review it. Review what? The foul? How can you not call that? Oh my gosh. See, again, Bama fans, y'all are dumb. You do not understand basketball. <laughs> Stick to football. Football and softball. That's what you guys got. You have no idea anything about basketball. <clears throat> ay, ay, ay. Um, gosh, man. Yeah, Bama's 5 of 21 from three. You turned them over 11 times. Got a text from 
but Devin says they just changed that call to Bama's ball. So I guess it's not Bama's ball. The All one right. that went out of bounds. Fair enough. So whatever they whatever they say. Okay. <laughs> Seven strikeouts for Hagen Smith, by the way. I say you get him one more and you shut him down. <laughs> What's the score though? I guess um, Arkansas done anything? A second ago. They're up zero to zero. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> With the lead at zero yeah. to zero. Fourth inning, third innings. It is bottom of the third. This in the air Oh man. David said I need a Xanax to finish this game. Oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you're wondering, I'm drinking a Coke, so we're not just goofing off and drinking beer. Yeah. Now, later, after we clock out, facts. I'm going to be up here, new boot goofing, <laughs> watching the fights. I can't wait for that. Bush lights on deck. Get the Monaco's nice and crispy. Mm. You don't mess with those? I do. Tonight, I definitely do. <laughs> what do we think, boys? Arkansas going to win this game? No. <laughs> <laughs> Big's tweeting at me. Bro, just one pizza? Well, how many pizzas you want us to order? I mean, you, are, are you guys still need more pizza after? No, I didn't need the last slice. I'm about to say. <laughs> Now, if we were in our college days, then maybe. I'm pretty good on getting by with just a, just a little bit of food these days. Mm -hmm. I kind of agree with Nick Yates. Or just let's get back to that pick and roll game a little bit. Who do you put in it, KB or L? These some flashes recently. E Mark Hanlon, mm. pick and roll, and could be a good one. Not being a black hole. I'd like to say KB, but he's got like a dozen turnovers. I would actually probably agree with all of that. Jimmy yeah. Dykes SEC accolades, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to. No. But I will. Seriously, Sears, Sears, Sears man. leads the league in scoring, dude. Yeah. He's really good. Dang. It's four on L. They call it on L. <laughs> David said all the white people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we could have seen a replay, you know, of that. So just, you know, see what's happening. But no. Hopefully we can get the uh, split screen here with his mom. Oh, I'm sure we will. <laughs> I'm sure that's what the cameraman's doing right now. <clears throat> she going to hold her follow through with that bedazzled basketball? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh. He's struggling up there today. Yeah, dude. He's uh, missed a few. Yeah, he's over 90%. In league play at the line, yeah. The year that's a hat, that's really that's, cool. I don't know what else to say about it. I'm sure there's a story involved that we can't. Yeah, I'm hear. sure it's a story that it means something significant of like someone dying and I'm being mean. And the streets are saying Jimmy Dykes just took it off. <laughs> T Mark, ah, that's a good board. There you go, my high. Oh, yeah, you got to pick on Nick Wal Like, if Nick Walters is going to be down there trying to grab boards for Bama, yeah. you've got to punish him. Yeah. 
Steers is struggling, dude. I say that and he's got 20, but the free throws are like an indication to me that he's a little bit off. Right. Oh, you got Nelson in there now? Come on. Barbecue Eat it, Bella. Barbecue chicken. Come here. Yeah. That's really good. Baby food. <laughs> Bay Fong <laughs> just did this. <laughs> <laughs> Pringle will be sticking that hip out there, dude. He does. That's tough. Man. Ooh, that's a tough move by Nelson. Get it back to Kai. Mm-hmm. Let him eat. <clears throat> Man, they got Walters out of the game immediately, didn't they? Yeah. Good coaching. <laughs> yeah. Easy teamwork. Oh, baby. Mm-hmm. Back it, back it, back it, back it, back. <clears throat> Dude. Dang. Here we go. And Mark can't be aggressive at all defensively right now because oh. got four. All right. Need a good shot here. Mark off the double high screen. Nothing for TV. Forced it in the Kai with the mismatch. And he jerked off his foot. Crap. Must just puts his hands on his head and then nobody stops. Nobody's got the ball. ball wow. It's was... call timeout. Yeah. I hate to be this guy, but you got to get Mark out of the damn game. Mm-hmm. If he's, I don't know, I get it, he's got four fouls, but if he's not going to defend at all, like not even try to defend, you got to get him out. Off him. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, they want to review. Just like literally nobody declared the ball, man. Mm-hmm. That was awful. It drives me nuts that you're in a dogfight like this, this late in the game against a ranked opponent, and you have low effort plays. How's that happen? Oh, it's my man, like, stop being stupid. How are they not giving him a technical yet, or at least? Got to get a bucket here, dude. Son of a beasting. Oh, my gosh, what are they doing? Hundred percent off yeah. mark. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll take a little uh, road cooking. <clears throat> and the officials have been bad all both ways all day. Sit down. There you go, JD. Bend your knees, buddy. Get over. I sit some washes. Good block though. <clears throat> Staying out of bounds with the ball in his hands. That's like the one time that they didn't argue the call because they even knew, like, I'm standing out of bounds. It's a good block. Got to get a good look here. Mm-hmm. What the heck is going on? <laughs> There you go. Oh, no, no. Get the ball to KB. Please. Thank you. Just go make a play, dude. Just, yeah, do 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 something, KB. Just do your thing. Like that. That'll there we go. See. I don't know how that <laughs> went in and one, but. That'll work. That'll play. You beat down the floor. Oh, where's JD, dude? Go. Oh, you got bailed out there. Damn, man. I, I can't believe they didn't call an and one on that battle. I thought he got nailed, but again, no. the officials are they're, they're hanging out. Get the thing to a two possession. You're under four. Make me feel good. Just do it. Yeah, do it. Good, KB. Go, oh, oh. Counting the basket, too. 
They did on the school or on that broadcast. Okay, y'all can't be mad. That dude was inside the cylinder, or inside the, what you call it, damn. Yeah, dude, he almost had, he had sears and stanchion, basically. Yeah. Yeah, so they took the, uh, they took Kai's bucket away. I mean, that's a very on the floor five. Yeah, it yeah. was. <clears throat> well, I love that KB was trying to make something happen but had his eyes up and saw that I guess he couldn't see the defender behind Kai, so he assumed it was Sears. Get him the ball. Yeah. Yeah, I put out the tweet. I'm sure this final 348 will go perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Zero problems and issues whatsoever. All right, so here's my guess. Arkansas is going to lose because Alabama is going to get in this final three minutes and 48 seconds. They're going to, Alabama is going to shoot eight free throws. And Arkansas is not going to get any calls, and they're going to lose by four. That's my guess. That'd be tough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that just sounds tough. <clears throat> Hunter says, love being able to hop on here during commercial breaks. Great show. Feed Mitchell. Hey, thanks, Hunter. All right. David's back with another. That's at 30 bucks. You cash out at 90. Woo! Tripling your money is a good day, dude. Yeah, I cash out. <laughs> I mean, I'm never. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I cash out. Like knowing this team, cashing out. I can't believe they held Bam at a 63 points. <laughs> What'd you say, Curtis? I can't believe they held Bam at a 63 points. Mm -hmm. Like, listen, I want Arkansas to win, and I hope they do. However, I want, I'm going to win the plus 15 and a half. I'm going to win the under. And uh, also maybe, with hopefully, the Arkansas money line at plus 700. I should have parlayed it. That's okay. Man, oh man. Michael said every time I rush to get home from work, the hogs lose by 30 and I learn my lesson. <laughs> So McKenna's shooting two, right? Yeah, because they're in the bon double bonus. Regardless. So. Crazy that Mackay Mitchell's shooting 80% from the free throw line this year. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, it was such a it's such a noteworthy thing. They said it in the arena. The other night after senior night like that's a like that's a thing that you got to get out there about kai because <laughs> what is that that's a because i think he shot what was it 64 percent last year so i mean that's a hard press to find a bigger jump in free throw percentage yeah he was 65.2 last year going into today's game is 80 percent straight up 80 percent he made both of those all right <clears throat> Starting to gather some stops. Getting Estrada in the ball screen is interesting. Jeez. Grant Nelson hits a three. <laughs> Got to respond. Big time. Got to big time here. They count that as a two or a three. Statcast is 66. Three. That's a 65. Yeah, that'll probably be one that Take they, a uh, they look at. Take a Makai. Barbecue chicken and one. Oh, Should have been. Man, throw man in there. 
Heck of a finish. Pain is sweet. And they yeah, okay, they went back to 65. <laughs> That's a five point game now. Block. What a block. There yeah. you go, Makai. All right, stall ball, baby. Get the foul. That's okay, or that, or that. I'll take that. Mercy, Kai. Oops, what you should, guys, we gotta do this. That was what it was. It was on his head. <laughs> it was on his head. Yeah, that layup was. Should have been an and one right there. That should have been an and one. Look at this block. Get down, kid. Dude, Kai's got four blocks today. 14 points, five boards, four blocks. Battle. I know you're a good free throw shooter, but yeah, okay, there you go. Be nice if you could make all of them here on out. Okay. Never mind. I'm not gonna say it. All right. <laughs> Ice. Seven point lead. Seven point lead. Two, three possession game. Two and a half minutes to go. That is good. Sixth bucket given up by L today. Um, and the third three. Right cell. The trail right cell. Gosh. All right, then. Okay, Brazil. Okay, okay Brazil. Oh, boy. Look at that block, TB. Absolutely. On his head. <laughs> On his head. <laughs> Every layup that gets made that Arkansas doesn't just gonna say it's on its head. Oh, right. So, so what are you? Hell, where are you, dude? Come out, get the rebound. Okay, there you go. Shot, I just, love it. And <clears> give <throat> the ball to Caleb Battle right now. Right now, give the ball to him, and you like get out of the way. Yeah, just give it the battle. <laughs> L, battle, get over there, take the ball. Tell him, must just go over there telling Diva where to go. Yeah, he was like, I'm going to run to the spot that you need to stand in. <laughs> okay, you got seven seconds. Oh, that hit the rim? But say, I think they're... That... Did it hit the rim? Uh... All right. I mean, they ran a lot of time off the clock, so that's yeah. good. You ready to watch these guys try to inbound the ball in the last minute? No. No, I'm not ready to watch that at all. Dude. Shit. Just, they're just dead set on doing this, man. <sighs> Three-point game, a minute left. Boy, boy, is that, boy. That's, is, that's, the, that's the third three in a row, right, for Alabama? Because hit Nelson Probably. hit two and yeah and uh what's his name hit one right so and yeah for the fact that they've hit three threes in a row it's just like stop please just <laughs> why can't this stuff be easy for a change and just in yeah, the game man. well they uh that first Nelson three that he hit on TB has been ruled a jumper so is it two ah oh. Okay, so with less than a minute left, you got one. Okay, I mean, we all know what needs to happen. Give the ball to Caleb Battle and everyone get out of the way, right? Yes. Get the ball inbounds. Yeah, that's for first. Yeah. So let's start there. <laughs> Who's inbounding? If it's L. Ellis, I'm going to kill myself. <clears throat> because it seems like every, and it's Evo? not against, and it's not against L. It's just. Evo's going to inbound? Just when they do the small guard inbounding, dude, it's just. Ugh. It's never good.
Oh, he has a, apparently Hagen Smith once again has double digit strikeouts. Goodness gracious, man. What an he idiot. I believe he had eight. <laughs> <laughs> like a Hudson, the goat says Hagen is the Golden Spikes favorite. Uh, yeah, I think so right now, for sure. I mean, we're only in. You know, I'm not a big baseball guy, but I say that he has to be in the conversation. He, he does. He's, he's, he's on the watch list if you will, of the Golden Spikes. Okay, so let's 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 uh, do some predictions. How does this possession for Arkansas play out? Chaotically. Well, yes. Yeah. Okay. Specifically, though, <laughs> what makes it chaotic? Um, Wrong guy with the ball in his hands. Okay. Contested miss. Okay. Do they at least run the clock down to 30 seconds? Like, at least run it down to where... Bama has no. Arkansas up three. Would, yeah, I don't think so either. <laughs> My here's what I think is going to happen. I think they're going to have Arkansas is going to get the ball cross half court, and then Devo is going to get fouled for some reason, and he's going to have to go to the free throw line. That's my prediction, and I mm. don't know what happens after that. Two nothing Razorback <clears throat> baseball though. By the way, okay. Devo's inbounding. You think? It's the guard that. <laughs> And Eric has put maybe... in a senior's hands and let him. Yeah. Smart enough to not do anything too silly there. Should have been that arena suffers from epilepsy. Yeah. Also, let, let's just be frank about this with Arkansas, especially. They're not going to, like, battles, if he gets the ball and he drives in, they're not going to give him the foul call. He's not going to get the foul call. So they're going to have to either they yeah. take, get their oh, – wow, they're not even – okay. Wow. wow. They, why would you – okay. Yeah, I don't know about that, Alabama. All right. They're just thinking we'll get a stop here. And... I guess. Because they do have, you know, such an elite defense. There you go. Got it right to battle. Okay, okay. This so, is so a good far. Idea. <laughs> so far, so good. And it does not need to leave his hands. I was nope. going to say nope. this earlier. Nope. Coming out of this timeout, you knew Eric wasn't going to mess around. He wants this game more than oh, yeah. any. Oh, right. yeah. Oh, Keep it. I thought he was going to pull up in. Oh, yes. Oh, oh no my way, gosh. How in the world? Oh, my gosh, dude. Fucking A. Pardon my French. It's a tie game. That is amazing. Hey, that's all right. Go make a play. Last shot. Last shot right here. Come on, KB. Be a hero, baby. Does not leave your hands. Just flatten everybody out. Good. Get your ass down there. Dang. Gosh, man. They hit the fact that this is going to overtime. Our Arkansas is done. They're not going to win an OT. Mm-mm-mm. How did Makai miss that dunk, man? I mean, this was perfect. I mean, this was perfect. He got it. It, it got fouled, got it. it looked like. But he blocked it a little bit. Like the bottom of his hand moved the trajectory. Dude. That's pretty deflating, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, they're they're done. Oh Arts ain't winning. <clears throat> Dude, that, the fact they just kept hitting three after that three reminds after me three. of a couple years ago when Arkansas had a chance to uh win at the end and JD Note didn't go to the rim and took that Off ball away three. three from the right wing. Yep. Yeah. 
I, should, I would I would have. Couldn't you have fouled somebody mm. on that too? Your Arkansas foul, what's his name? Pringle. Do you have the ball in his hands? I don't know. <laughs> Just they should have fouled him. I know it's always what it feels like this happens to Arkansas all the time. Well, let's look at the foul situation. Nelson's still got four. T Mark has four for Arkansas. Yeah, it's, there's not a lot of. Man, that's deflating. Yeah, I said, I don't, I don't see this going Arkansas's way. They got the momentum, the the spring break fan base up there, and Bama's being loud, I guess. Here we go. Reitzel's having a game. I think. Yeah, 18. <clears throat> I still want to. I mean, I'm not saying that he for sure got fouled, but I still want to go back and see that Makai Mitchell missed dunk because I thought it looked like his head popped back. But I don't know. Maybe. And the fact that Alabama's not led today is also pretty wild. Amazing. Yeah. Got to get the. There we go. Got to get the lead right away. <clears throat> People are texting me saying that Makai was assaulted on that play. So, like, well, oh. welcome to the road and finish the dunk. Maybe he gets a that's not. free throw line floater blocked. That's a carry. Oh, they got the mismatch. Sit down, Kai. Not bad. Oh my gosh. How did he fall backwards when oh. never mind? <laughs> that is horrible, dude. Come on, that is a cell job if I've ever seen one. This is the guy you would want to send to the line, though. At least. <clears throat> Chances are he won't make them bro uh, both. Oh, boy. Hmm. I'll split them, you'll take it. First lead for Bama the whole freaking game comes in overtime. <clears throat> All right. Bad or Kai. Or Ellen Debo, whatever. <laughs> I like what's happening right now. You got right soul on uh, Kai's back. All back. the way to the cup. Who could dump there all? He finished that dump. That a boy, Kai. Uh oh. Why would he pass? Get out of there, ball. Uh, Good. The rebound. That's Arkansas's ball. Uh, I think that's the ball. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Great drop ball. Dude, Bama's going to get bounced early in the tournament. Yeah, they're not. I mean, well, that's per par for the course for them. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> they might be in like a 12 5 game with them on alert, man. <clears throat> Lights all got hurt there. I can't get it in. L just not pay no attention. No way. Gosh, man. Where, has L given up like 25 points? Good. He's given up eight buckets and five threes. 
Man, why? Yeah. Gotta go score it. That should have been a fifth foul on Mark. But you'll take it. Foul? Good. Line. I don't know, Nelson? I think it was the... Uh, yeah, they gave it to Walters. Of course they would. They wouldn't give it to Nelson. Why do they keep showing him that? How do we feel about that stash? It's terrible. What do you think about mine? It's just fine. Here's the better. Did you? <laughs> did he give it to Nelson? Oh, he did foul. I gave it to Nelson. Cool. Oh, dang. Like that. Wait. They've got it oh, to Walters it. in uh, in stat broadcast. They've got it to Walters. And I think it was on Walters. Otherwise, Nelson would be out of the game. Yeah. ESPN's struggling, too. Not their best. Well, yeah, because Jimmy Nice is on the ball. <laughs> of course, it's not their best. <laughs> okay, Mark. Good work. Tie game. Three minutes to go in overtime. Oh, baby. Three for 17. Nine for 29. Gracious. No way. That was gross. This dude got the... Is he going to be the hero here? Walters? Mm. Probably. Whatever. Go get yourself a bucket. You're fine. They can't guard you, so... Yeah. That's just go true. get what you want. TV checking in. Work out, Mark. He's Ooh, drop good drop off, off L. There He's you go. Off to Kai, but low Kai Mitchell. Work a low Kai Mitchell. Well. Dude, Kai is pretty good at basketball. <laughs> yeah, he got 18 again. Yeah, don't guard that dude. Good. Chand up. You gotta contest Kai. You have to contest that too, brother. Woo! <clears throat> What we got here, Mark's got the mismatch. And he sure Balls. did slip and turn it over. Stop the ball. Stop the ball. Crap. Might be it. <clears throat> Four point game. 138 to go. <clears throat> Tough. That was a killer. Swing right there. Mm -hmm. Did Mark just slip? I guess. I think so. I wonder what the handshake will be like after the game. One of those uh, Jerome Tang flybys, maybe? Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was uh, 20, or 2009, 2010 season. What was that? The, the last time Arkansas had a losing record in the regular season. Gosh. Or entering postseason play. <sighs> I'm a little bit surprised at how many people are in my Twitter mentions. About what? Pissed about 
Arkansas stinking and being bad. I mean, top 20 team on the road, you're in overtime. I don't, I mean, I mean, it's not, I mean, regardless of outcome, it's, there's an incredible, like, here's the thing. It's like, yeah, it was an incredible, like, Alabama making every three to yeah. the man. And also, but incredibly frustrating if they yeah. lose. I get it. And Arkansas still should have won in regulation because Makai Mitchell got assaulted on that final dunk. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. again, I'm not saying that's the only reason why, but still. He if, got more if, face than ball. Yeah. And if so, <laughs> if he, so if he got fouled, he's going to the lines, making at least one, and Arkansas wins the game. It ain't plain and simple. <clears throat> Six to two run. What a great stat in overtime, guys. Yeah, that, good that, one. That's awesome. <laughs> what an epic. Ooh, good KB. Got him. Wow, can't believe they called down a foul. That dude is rocking the loafers with no socks. Do you? I don't know if it's the ankle cleavage. <laughs> What? <clears throat> One possession game. They're going to do what they need to do to make sure Grant Nelson's in the game, too. KB's so clutch at the line, man. All right. I just don't know if like I trust Arkansas defensively, you know, like I don't like this. Tough. Don't leave it more oh, man. Just dumb Mark and Kai just come on. Dumb basketball, dude. Let's just both run away from the guy standing under the rim. Go quick. It's quick. And one. Oh, boy. Uh, yep, play it out. Sit down. Yeah, get a freaking stop, man. Stay glued to your man, please. Don't overdo it. No need. That dude dribbled the whole man. It's just tough. Mm -hmm. Go, go, go. That's okay. No. Dang, that's that's it. it. Yep. Ball game. You got a foul. Foul and mark? We're going to steal. Oh, L, L, got a, L got the ball in. Good job by L. Out. That's selfish stuff by Mark, man. You freaking kidding me, dude? You're down four in damn overtime. You have to foul. Yeah, I, don't. I don't give a shit how many fouls you have. Come on, dude. You're the only one there fouling. So how many, God, how many, how many man. seconds ran off that clock? Like 10? He followed him all, yeah, he followed him all the way down the court. Yeah, KB missed that three with 22 seconds left, so nine <sighs> seconds ran off. That's incredibly frustrating, man. Mm -mm -mm. Mike Irwin. Mm. Tell Mark in the huddle right now that uh, it's okay to foul at this point.
<laughs> what even is that? Arkansas hasn't hit threes all day long, and that's a three that they hit. Yeah, it's just their fourth of the day. What are they checking? I think if it was a two or a three. Why are they showing the clock? Like, what is. That's a three. That's a three. Okay, so what's wrong with the clock? They keep running. No, it's not. No. Like, I don't know what the deal is here. Weird. Did that top official over there? He wasn't sure. Yeah. There we go. They got it right. Good two and a half. Alabama's not oblivious to doing something stupid here. <laughs> yeah. Just get your hands on something. Be aggressive. If you foul, you foul. Yep. Wow. Just didn't blow the whistle. Son of a. I mean. Said Arkansas blew the lead, but still, I'm I'm holding on to the thing that the uh, officials dick that one. They're the ones that blew it. Right into regulation, game should have never even gone to overtime. Well. <clears throat> so Arkansas versus Bandy it is Wednesday night we'll see who they wind up playing after that if they win but we that is other, that we got any other scores right now I don't think it, uh, I don't think any other game started until a little bit later all right, so I don't think that I don't really think that there's much of a way to avoid. Like I think it's Bandy Wednesday, mm -hmm. and then and you're probably looking at Kentucky the second game. Yeah. That's that's as far as the losses go for Arkansas. That that one might be the most disheartening one at the end because just you had them. Yeah, you had them. So and what you, you need blew it. for Arkansas to not play, um, not play Kentucky in that second round, is uh, potentially you need Auburn to win, LSU to win, at home, and then A and M on the road, Carol South Carolina at home, Kentucky on the road. Or, okay, A and M on the road, Carolina on the road, Kentucky on the road, Bandy on the road, uh, Florida on the road. And that would put you playing South Carolina potentially the second day. Well, I just saw that AM is up 23 to 5 on Ole Miss. So they're at least doing their part. 
out of the <laughs> out of the gates, I guess. Man. 22 from battle. 11 11 at the free throw line, seven boards, six turnovers. Got a dozen from Brazil. 18 from Makai Mitchell, 18-5. Mm, mm, mm. Brutal. Arkansas led for 38 minutes and 35 seconds. Didn't trail in regulation, lost the game. That is that is brutal, man. Yeah. Do you want to play the press conference? Or what are we thinking? Yeah, yeah I guess we can. Hmm. Tough one, man. Dude, it sucks. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back in again. I just wanna watch that final regulation play and just see if it was as bad as what everyone's been telling me. Everybody's on LLS's neck again. Uh, I'm hoping and I'm thinking maybe it's just people doing it for the sake of. I mean, he did. He gave up eight buckets today. No, I mean he won great, but five threes. He's L. Ellis is not the reason Arkansas lost. Like just the one reason why Arkansas lost. I mean, By the way, Hagen Smith has 40 strikeouts so far this year. That's ridiculous. He has pitched in four games. And one of them he was out pulled in the inning in the, after the first inning. So there's that. Maybe Andrew Ellis can talk to L at the Ellis family reunion about valuing the ball. L Ellis had two turnovers. Caleb Battle had six turnovers. Makai Mitchell had four turnovers. Mm. Oh, we got Trevor Brazil, guys. Recording in progress. Bob, you want to get us going? Yeah, but hey, hey, TB. Uh... Man, I thought it was a hell of a game. It's kind of what we were overall thought. You guys led most of the way, and then Alabama forced overtime, and then did, they just made, I guess, another play in more in overtime. So what were your overall thoughts on the, the way you guys played and the competitiveness of it on, on the road? Uh, you know, obviously it's tough to go into an environment like this and win, but, uh, you know, we all played hard, so, you know, that's all you guys for. I thought that was maybe your best game since you came back, and um, just how do you think you played? How, how do you feel right now going into you know getting ready for the SEC tournament? Um, you know, I feel I, I feel the same as the whole team. You know, we're going there to try to win it, um, going there to play hard. Uh, we need to go out there and, and show what we can do. And then just we'll, 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 the end of regulation. Um, it looked like uh, Makai got fouled, but he didn't get the call. Do you feel like I'm not getting you to try to comment on the rest, but maybe that's just not a call you don't get on 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 the on the road? Or how, how tough was that when Alabama kept kept coming back at you guys? I mean, obviously their three point shooting is uh, is dangerous, so you know that I feel like Kai got fouled. So you know that was a, that was a big point in the game. Uh, Literally, you know when that was a no call that, that killed it. I felt like yep. Yeah, I might have a couple more, but I'll, I'll turn back to Kyle for other set questions. Anthony? Yeah, Trevin, obviously, uh, like Bob mentioned, probably your best game since you came back from injury. Can you just talk about you know, how much of an emphasis it was to get you the ball kind of, you know, in, in that kind of vein? And then defensively, what was working for you as well with a couple of blocks and steals? Uh, I was just trying to crash the glass all game. Um, you know, the ball comes to me, it comes to me. Uh, just trying to play hard. You know with the games that we have left um you know but it, it was it was fun to go out there and compete go ahead bob um oh, okay um yeah kb um i mean how do you feel right now in terms of you know you've been 
You're still knocking the rust off, or do you feel like you're kind of back to yourself? Or how do you feel overall about your game? Um, you know, I feel like uh, if I'm put in the right positions to, you know, to be successful, which I was tonight, then, you know, things like what happened tonight will happen. But, um, you know, obviously it felt good to kind of, like you said, you know, rock the uh, – uh, knock the dust off or the rust off, you know, I've obviously haven't been on my game recently. Yeah, it seems like Eric settled on a pretty tight rotation, which is what he likes, I think, in, in a perfect world with, with you main eight guys. How do you think that rotation's working? Uh, you know, I, I feel like it, it worked well for us tonight. Um, you know, we got guys like uh, Davenport that can come off the bench and shoot it, which you've seen tonight. And then, you know, obviously, Devo Davis, we all know his background. So, you know, that's like our seven guys that play. And, you know, like you said, Coach is going to go with those guys. So that's what he went with. And, and you mentioned Jeremiah. You know, he's, he's obviously a shooter, but he's been getting rebounds and making some other plays, maybe doing some things people didn't expect. Well, what, what do you thought about Jeremiah down the stretch here and what, what he's given you all and uh, how that's helped you all? Uh, Coach just, you know, tells them all the time just to keep rebounding and, um, you know, you see that out there. He, he goes for every for every rebound, every loose ball, and uh, you know that's the DNA here at Arkansas. And, and for the tournament, you, you got to play Wednesday night. And I guess you guys are going to get another another shot at Vanderbilt, unless I'm an idiot, which is possible, I guess. But uh, how do you feel about getting another shot at those guys? Uh, you know, obviously, you feel like we should have won the first game, so you know, be able to get to play them again. Um, you know, in that setting in the tournament, uh, you know, we're very confident going in. And, and Makai and, and KB, they've kind of uh, carried you all offensively here in a lot of games of late during the well, I think it's a pretty good stretch for you all. What, what do you thought about those two guys? Uh, you know, with KB, you know, he, with him, he's just a, such a good scorer, man. Uh, it, it, it's so hard to guard him. Then when he gets downhill, you know, it's hard not to foul him, and he's a great free throw shooter. And then with Kai, man, whenever, whenever he's out there rebounding and, and running the floor, you know, he's a, he's a menace on the floor, so... You got you got to win this tournament. You got to win five in five days. I know you got to take it one at a time. But just sort of, how do you? What, what, what what's the approach when you got to play that Wednesday night game? And you really need to win the tournament to to get the NCAA bid. Um, man, we're just we'll get we'll get back. Everybody will get healthy. Everybody that's banged up will get healthy. Um, go into that game as healthy as possible with uh with a lot of confidence. And you know, like you said, we're gonna take it one at a time. So you know, starting with Wednesday. One, one more if it's okay. I, I know it's a tough loss, but, you know, the effort's been there really the last three weeks, I guess, or a month or whatever it's been. Just, just how good do you feel about the effort, the, the loss aside, and how well you guys are, are playing going into the tournament? Um, you know, like you said, man, we're playing hard. It's just certain situations you can't control. And, um, you know, not let, you know, we can't let things that we can't control uh you know, mess with our minds. You know, we still got to go play a game on win the day, so. Okay, th th thank you. Good. Thanks. Yep, all good. Appreciate you, buddy. All right. There's that. Kevin Brazil's in the Makai got foul camp. That's one. He said that was a big point in the game. And what's a big point? Can't disagree. I'm sure that this uh, Curtis uh, stole a picture of the Mm -hmm. deal there it's like i mean i could be wrong but i don't think makai when he dunks balls his neck goes all the way back like that usually <laughs> all right this must say anything i wish you kind of, i wish you would get fined you know it's his last regular season game in arkansas <laughs> <laughs> uh Go ahead and get your money. Man, it's tough. Uh-huh. What do you think Eric's going to be on this? Probably pretty... Pissed, I think. And something about it, he really doesn't like losing to uh, NATOs for some reason. I don't think he's going to be very happy. He's not going to be a very happy camper. Yeah. 
think we worry about the hog baseball offense. <laughs> sure. Listen, Friday games, I don't care who you're playing. I know it's McNeese statements like Friday games, you're always going to be usually lower score because you're going up against their ace. Now, if it's on Sunday and they're scoring two runs, then yes, that's very, very, very worse. Oh, crap. Um, Eric, man, hell of a game. I thought you guys you know, played played your guts out. Just what, what were your overall thoughts on, on the game? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, um, you know, fans, players, coaching staff, uh, you know, you know, the object is to win. And um, but I mean, I can't fault our our effort. Um, you know, we played really, really hard. You know, I've been saying it for quite some time that we're getting better. I think we got, you know, I mean, we look like a better basketball team, although we didn't win. It's a tough environment. Alabama's only lost two games on the year. Um, you know, one of them was a long time ago against Clemson. So um, hard building to play in. Um, really talented team, a team that can, you know, final four caliber uh, talent-wise. And, and um, you know, we controlled the game for, you know, for 38 minutes or whatever it was. Um you know, so we, you know, played good, but but not good enough uh, to beat Alabama on their home floor tonight. And then at the end of regulation, you know, obviously when you want the ball in, in, in Battle's hands, he's been so good at driving and drawing fouls. Uh, would you like to have seen him drive there rather than take the three? Or kind of, what, what was your thought on that? Yeah, there was no need for the three. Um, you know, he he made a read, and, and, and you live with that as a coach. So... Um, you know, don't want to put the blame on any shot or any one play, certainly. Uh, but we had the ball in the guy's hands. We wanted, you know, running the clock down. And, and uh, you know, because he was 11-11 from the foul line, you know, certainly would have uh, preferred a dribble drive and, and, and to, uh, you know, to try to see if we could get to, you know, scoring in zone one. Um, you know, having said that, we, you know, we had a dunk that, that didn't go down. And, and then we had, uh, you know, defensively we gave up you know, a couple catch and shoot threes without making them floor the ball. And, and, and really those, you know, few plays are the ones that, that would stand out right now without reviewing the film. And that Miss Dunkey you referred to on Makai looked like, well, it didn't look like there, you watch a replay, there's obvious contact with Pringle on the body. Just wondering your, your thoughts on not getting the call there. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't had, we haven't, that hasn't happened for us all season long. Um, quite frankly, I mean, I saw the body contact and and um you know but it's if it's not worth commenting it's not worth sending things in so i'm just you know alabama beat us no excuses but there was contact with kai i mean what are they, what are they gonna tell us that you know that after reviewing we'll get some you know we'll find out tomorrow that it was missed but it just doesn't change the outcome of the game no, I, I, I get you and like i said i understand frustrating loss but you guys Outside of that, that you know, bad eight minute stretch or whatever against Vandy, you guys have played pretty well going on, you know, close to a month now. Just how do you feel like you guys are, are playing going into the tournament? Well, Bob, I you know, I think it's a, you know, it's our job um, as a team, as a unit, as a program to get you know to get better as the season progresses. And and there's no denying that we haven't done that. Sometimes, uh, you know, the wins haven't come like tonight. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll go to we'll go to Nashville and see what happens every game there is, you know, it's hard to win one game there. So um, we have to we have to get ourselves mentally ready and, and uh, you know, put this loss behind us and and, uh, you know, try to get ready to to win the next game. Yeah, and uh, Trevor Tr 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 played, I thought, his best game since he's been back. Uh, you know, foul trouble wasn't as bad. Just how, how do you think he played? Maybe well, what kind of boost can that give you going into Nashville? Yeah, I thought he played uh, well. He was really good on the offensive glass with five O boards, and and um, you know I thought he did a good job. You know he had two shots blocked and and got to play thirty minutes. So I thought he he played a really good game for us. Uh, you know he got in foul trouble the last couple games. Do you think maybe it was just the fact he was he he got in a little bit of a groove that he didn't get in foul trouble? And how how important was that that he was able to be on the floor that long? Yeah, I mean, I think certainly, you know, defending without fouling becomes extremely important. I mean, the night foul trouble bothered us, you know, in the backcourt, um, you know, with with L, you know, having four and, and T-Mark having four. And, um, 
you know, certainly, you know, want guys to be able to play extended minutes with without fouling. And, and you obviously you played a lot through through KB and, and, and Makai, like that's been the case in, in most of your good games here late. Just what do you thought about those two guys as, as a combo for you? Yeah, I mean, they're playing, a, you know, a really good uh, two-man game. And, and um, you know, we got to clean up our turnovers, certainly. I mean, um, you know, we had 10 between those two guys, which were putting the ball in their hands. And, and uh, 16 turnovers as a unit, we got to – we certainly got to clean that up. Um, but those two guys playing off the elbows and playing in pick and rolls have been a hard cover for the opposing teams, whoever we played. Well, Walters was a guy for them. I mean, they got a lot of great players, but sometimes, you know, when, when you do a good job on their star players, a guy like that can kind of ha have a game. What did you think of him? Was, was he a guy that surprised you, that, that freshman? No, he didn't surprise us. I mean, we're supposed to make him floor the basketball. Yeah. And, uh, and, he, and he shot the ball on a catch and shoot, and it was a crucial play. Uh, in the game, um, you know, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't make him floor the basketball and he had a big offensive rebound, but no, he was, I mean, we talked about him. We knew he was a guy that could knock down shots and played with energy. Yeah, I might have a couple more, but I'll, I'll hand it back to Kyle if others have questions. Anthony, do you have any questions? Yeah, just the one from me. Uh, obviously, Rachel, the trail right cell is obviously a guy who can hit the three. He had a couple of big ones. Can you just talk about, you know, what you saw from him in the prep and how did he kind of, I guess, hurt you down the stretch there? Boy, he's a great three-point shooter. Um, you know, that's, it's a great signing um, by Alabama as a transfer who can make shots and coming from Cal State Fullerton. And, um, you know, he's he's a guy that um, shoots it with confidence and, and he made two that were, you know, really, really clutch for them. Um you know, I thought we guarded the three-point line, followed the game plan really well until maybe the last minute and a half of the game, and then and then into overtime, we, you know, we we slipped up on on uh, not making certain guys floor it, and um, you know that's that's a difference in a in a four-point game. Wrap us up, Bob. Yeah, Eric Estrada, man, you guys did a great job on him. He was really struggling. I don't think he scored in the first half. He got loose a little bit in the second half. Of course, he's a guy. He, you saw it, Hofstra. Just wonder what your thoughts were on maybe some of the plays Estrada made down the stretch for for Alabama. Yeah, I mean he's a he's a great player. I mean he went four for fourteen. He went zero for five from three. I thought we did a phenomenal job. He had five turnovers. Um, he made some big plays down the stretch. He's a good player, and you're not going to be able to. I mean, if you if you hold a guy to four for fourteen, whenever he scores, whether it's down the stretch, whether it's the last four plays of the. I mean, we did a really good job. It's hard to do much more than hold a guy to four for fourteen and. And uh, and there's five turnovers. I don't I don't know how we could have done a better job, but he did make some big baskets down the stretch, which is what great players do. And, and then you seem like you settled on this rotation now. You know who you're starting after so many combos, which I, I get why you were trying to push all those buttons during the year. But how good is it to hear at the end finally you've been able to sell on a rotation you like and it's been pretty productive for you? Yeah, I think the rotation's you know done a great job, and and uh, sometimes with some injuries and. And, um, you know, we're, we were searching all year, and, and I do think in the last, you know, month we've settled on a group that uh, that's done a really good job and has competed. And, you know, I guess you play – I think you play Bandy on Wednesday. I think I got that right. Um, but what, 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 what's your thoughts on getting another shot, those guys, and just, you know, your thoughts on the tournament in general? Obviously, it's a big, big ask. you got to try to win five in five days, but, you know, it's possible, obviously. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll start talking about Vanderbilt as a staff, Bob, when we get on the plane right now. We haven't talked about him at all because we, we had this game on our schedule, and uh, we'll try to get ready for them. Uh, you know, they, 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 they're a team that competes. They're well coached. They understand the roles. They have three stars. We've got to do a much better job on their center. Uh, than we did last game, we've got to do a much better job on their two guards, Man John and and uh, and, and T Lawrence, and uh, and then you got to take away the three with the other guys. So that would be uh, some of the game plan stuff that that we've got to do, and we've we've got to uh, you know play much better than we did last game against uh, Vanderbilt. Yeah, got any got any final thoughts you want to impart? No, thanks, you guys. Okay, thanks. thanks. Okay. So I, I guess mean, he, uh, I mean he's right. Like it's pointless to send stuff into the league. Yeah, it just it just is. What yeah. like what are the he, what he said is exactly what they're going to tell you. Yeah, tomorrow they're going to tell you. Yeah, we missed the call. Yep. But it, like 
that doesn't change. Like they can say that and admit wrong, but literally does no good. No, no, there's good. no point. But at least, I mean, it's glad he said it. Yeah, he okay. did. I mean, that's the thing is like, I was expecting a kind of, no, I'm not going to talk about the officials or whatever, but no, he said, he's like body or there was contact and we haven't gotten those calls all year. And if we send it to the league, it doesn't matter because nothing changes, doesn't change the outcome. So whatever. Yeah. Not worth commenting on or sending things into the league. That's tough. But true. Yep. Hmm. How do we feel 15 and 16 going into the postseason? Just like I predicted this before the season started. Get revenge on Vandy, then call it a year. Yep. Piece it together, and uh, it's always next season, right? Yeah, so right now, A&M is up 11 at Ole Miss, and South Carolina's up 6 at Mississippi State. If those games hold... You need everything else to go chalk except Kentucky wins at Tennessee, and then you get, I think, South Carolina in the second game, potentially. So, something to pull for. Definitely that. Definitely that. It's a shame. Yep. That would have been a nice little end to the regular season. Would have been yeah, nice little, nice that little... would have been a good one, man. Thing. Alabama, Arkansas is always spicy, though. It just mm -hmm. it it always is. No matter the record on either side, it seems. Yeah. Well, I know something that we could pull for the rest of the day is just Missouri to lose again. I'll just I'll have Curtis take a video of me showing their crispy Ken Palm page and throw that online and call it good. Because well, I did see the graphic of Missouri today. You know, they signed, I guess, the number two recruiting class in college basketball. And I start thinking, imagine being a high level player and you're like, and you just watched the team you're going to go 0 and 18 in SEC play. And you're like, yeah, that's the program I feel like is going to put me together and get me to the next level. That's impressive. Yeah, because I kept saying, I was like, you got to fire a coach if he goes 0-18 in conference play, but they're not going to fire Gates because he's got the number two class coming in. So right. uh, that's good for everybody else in the SEC. Yeah. Well, at least it was entertaining again-ish. was. It wasn't blowout I mean, city. I'm, I'm excited to watch them in Nashville. I mean, obviously, I, you wish they were playing, you know, a more meaningful game or you know, just going down there to play for tournament seating. But, I mean, this this team is not the same team that was playing a month and a half ago mm -hmm. where it was just like you like you don't want to watch it. Like, it's this is not a good team, but it's improved so much from, like, even a month and a half ago. They're like, I'll, I'll, I'll watch them right, yeah. right, right to the end. Yeah. Happily. Which... For those asking, at minimum, Curtis and Scotty are going to Nashville. So we'll have the uh, the great content and coverage right there in uh, the great city of Nashville. And hopefully Curtis and Scotty have a long stay there in Nashville. Make it a week trip. We'll be back about as quickly as we left. Uh, well. Guys, I am all out of fuel. Yeah, I have nothing. So, I, have I got nothing, nothing to say. I don't think there's really any questions or anything there. Just, nope. Just Scotty, trolling L. Yeah, that's all it is. Scotty, got anything else before we end it? Yeah. I mean, I see a comment, don't take Vandy lightly. I'm like, of course. But like, <laughs> if you're a serious operation, you should beat Vandy. I know Arkansas just lost to Mandy. That's why they're not a serious operation. But yeah, that's why they're we're playing on Wednesday night exactly. in the SEC tournament. Yeah. So, all right, everybody, appreciate y'all watching in. It was entertaining. And uh, what's funny is this was actually still not our longest stream, even though this one went to overtime. But you know, still successful. And be sure to uh, subscribe to United State Sports. Check it out. I know Andrew Ellis is doing a great job covering baseball right now with their bomb. So. Uh, go and follow him and see all the great stuff there too. And 
Have a great rest of your day. Don't ever let the Razorbacks ruin it like it ruins everything else. So, appreciate it. <laughs>